I gotta grab Streamlabs real fast, actually. Because I have to read off bits and subs. I That's not my responsibility, and it's a lot of responsibility. It's gonna be so weird not hearing Connor do it. I, I know, for you. Yeah, you're so used to Connor doing it, or... Or Bosco doing it sometimes. Or Bosco interjecting while Connor's doing it and derailing everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drag him. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Unexpectables. We are now live. Oh. And our guests are very quiet. <laughs> so. Okay, oh, I didn't know if, if you wanted to do we, your thing first. No, no, yeah. you guys just go wild. Set up. Okay, okay. Remember, I didn't want to I, step on your toes. We're very informal. <laughs> okay, okay. We have like kind of this is how we do things, but we're very chill here. Fair Honestly, it's, been, it's been like three years since I've been on the unexpected. It's been so long, dude. It's been a while. I, it's been a mm -hmm. hot second. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's the first time for me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. me too. What he said. Mix as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hey. Hello, chat. How are you? It's the last one shot. Uh, this is the last one shot before the final uh, final episode of The Unexpectables, which has been a four long year running campaign. Uh, and this is uh, this is quite the one shot. Uh, I guess without further ado, we can go around the horn here. Uh, we'll start with our uh, a friendly face to the Unexpectables channel. Arkolf, where can people find you? You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Arkolf. Lately I've been streaming Elden Ring and Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy, which is just as absurd as I'd hoped it'd be. Beyond that, you can find me here April 2nd for the Final Prince Division. Yeah, and also that's about it. Well. Very, very cool. Yeah, all right. And a new arrival here, KG Tang. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello. Yes, I would love to. Hi, guys. I am KG Tang. I do the voice acting thing. Um, if you play video games, I'm the voice of Ichiban Kasuga in Yakuza Like a Dragon. And if you watch anime, you can hear me as Satoru Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. And the movie is dropping this week. So, yeah, go see nice. that. When is that. When is that movie coming out? I want to see that. I think the 18th in two days. The 18th. Okay, cool. Wow. Let's cool. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's in theaters, right? I think I saw a poster for it. Yeah, yeah, you can see it at uh, any AMC and any um. I don't know all the theater chains I carry. <laughs> oh, they're all they're all they're all carrying it. <laughs> Cries in small town movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> it's Coke Milk Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is you. Also, the, the man who notoriously doesn't wash his rice, which I've learned about. Look, okay, look, if we were in like ancient times, maybe you need to wash your rice. But these days, you, you're not going to find a weevil in your rice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, and our other new arrival, uh, Rice Pirate, also known as Mick. Where can people find you? I like that it's Rice Pirate, also known as Mick. <laughs> <laughs> I was born Rice Pirate, but yeah. No, um, I mean, I'm, I'm online, I'm, I'm Rice Pirate, but I'm also known as Mick. Um, I'm a voice actor, animator. Uh, you know, I'm on YouTube, Twitter. I do some anime and games as well. Um, my fa one of my favorite things is being a Bakio in uh, the dub of Golden Wind, just because JoJo's very close to my heart. And the thing I'm animating right now is also uh, uh, an homage to JoJo as well. So Watch it. It's um, really good. Thanks, man. It's called Blood Sun Vendetta, and it takes place in Mexico. Ooh. Oh, Other than I've that, seen that. That was you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that looks really good, yeah. It just takes forever. But it's it's mm -hmm. super fun, and I'm learning a lot, and it's just kind of like a, a vehicle for me to learn as many different skills as possible um, and also tell a story. So it's been a lot of fun. And last but certainly not least, returning, it's been three years, returning... Octopimp. Been 84 years. Um, <laughs> hi. Hello. Uh, I'm Octopimp. You can find me everywhere at Octopimp. Uh, I also do the voice acting thing, uh, sometimes. Um, I, I stream on Twitch. Yeah, uh, and yeah, you can hear me in, uh, Stranger Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. I'm some various NPCs Ooh. in that. You can hear me in, uh, Guilty Gear as Axel Lowe. Yeah! Yeah! And, <laughs> yeah, and uh, in, uh, the DLC coming up for Lost Judgment as, pretty soon as one of the bad guys, which is very exciting <laughs> about that. Was that uh, NDA? Were you allowed to say that? Yeah, it's, it's released. They, oh, they oh, okay. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna break NDA. <laughs> wow. Well, really, you the don't think gonna... yeah. Yeah, that was unexpected? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was that's the unexpected. No, that that yeah. got announced, I think, on the twelfth. So like. Four, four or five days ago. Yeah, they've been yeah. tweeting. They've been tweeting stuff about it. They've been they've been releasing characters uh, every few tweet. days. But yeah, that. Um, Congrats! Thank you. Speaking that. Of, hmm? Speaking of tweets, guys, the tweet of the game has actually just gone live. If you want to retweet it now. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Connor yeah, just yeah. Posted, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I apologize. No, you're fine. Not at all. Did the the one I retweeted? Did it have a link? It, I didn't see a link. Uh, that is. It does not have a link. Shit. That should have had a link. Link, but. Oh. Put it. Wait, wait, wait. Put it. Wait. Here's here's a little uh, um, uh, tip for you. Re uh, respond to that tweet with the link underneath because Twitter doesn't like when you link off Twitter. But if you do it oh. in the replies, it's not as strict about it. It's better for uh, the algorithm. Yeah, it's better for the algorithm. So if you if you link to a site that's off Twitter in an initial tweet, uh, they'll hide it a lot of the times, or it won't oh. it won't go to as many people's feeds. But if you say like. I'm doing this, but da -da -da -da, and then underneath you put a link. They they won't hide it from as many people. That's um, why people do that. Yep. I've been seeing that a lot, that's and I was why, like, why aren't you just including the link? Uh, that's okay. why I put the um. <laughs> God, that's I why know. I put like Twitch and then an arrow with my username because more people will see that rather than me just linking my Twitch because a lot less people will see that. Connor uh -huh. just added it to the response, so there you go. he just Perfect. added it then. So there mm -hmm. you go. Now go. go check. Now go check your uh, analytics after this stream and see how many people click through the link based on other streams and compare. This is sorry. This is all me, ha like with years welcome, of having to learn this. <laughs> welcome to the Twitter hacking podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're canceling <laughs> the game. Yeah. Yeah. Connor put the tweet. Connor put the link with his own account, not the unexpected account. Wait, did he, <laughs> yeah. Connor? Oh, well, Remember when I said we're really informally? <laughs> Connor, it's like sabotage at this point. For for context, Connor is one of our main cast, so that's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh oh, yeah, myself. I should probably. Uh, you guys know who I am. I've been here this whole time. I, I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow. Maybe we'll be done to the Mad Mage. It might be canceled, but I it's kind of iffy at the moment. I it's the last week before the final episode. I, I need uh, my schedule's a bit packed, but I'm hoping to try to run done to the Mad Mage. And if not, then uh, what can you do? Um, and also, I've been streaming Arceus, but do not expect streams this week. Um, they're going to be kind of on the side right now because Unexpectables is kind of the priority at the moment. Uh, we also asked you guys keep your eyes peeled on the Discord as well as our Twitter, uh, for announcements in relation to the final episode on the 23rd. Uh, we will be starting early. We will be starting at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is like three hours earlier uh, for an extra long final episode. So um, if you guys need to book time off or you need to get your, your popcorn, it's a double stream feature. So definitely come and... Uh, Check that out. It's going to be Wait, a wild is that time. Like the end? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they're fighting the final, like, boss equivalent, essentially. The BBEG, as they say. Yeah. Oh, why are you not playing music? Hold on. I got to refresh it. real funny. Okay. Yeah, the stream isn't, though. Um, oh, oh okay. I was going to say, it's very impressive loot work. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, there yeah. we go. There we go. There should be the music now. Roll 20, you silly program, you. But yes, so uh, please keep your eyes peeled on the Discord. Please keep your eyes peeled on the Twitter for announcements going forward um, so you can keep in the up and up. And uh, before I forget, really important, because I know I will be yelled at if I forget, uh, we'd like to shout out our sponsor, Die Hard Dice. The best dice you can't see on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but you can hear them. Uh, die Hard Dice has been our sponsor for a while. They're a super rad dice company. Uh, oh, wow. They sell dice and dice accessories. Yeah, we actually got a sponsor. And it's like, what's great is no. it started off as a meme, but then became very real. No, no, so, I'm looking at their dice. They're actually really beautiful. They have a new set that just came out too. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but they just released a new set of dice that are really good for visibility. Mm. Um so definitely check those out. I'm probably going to see if I can get a couple sets because they look really nice. 
The um, um, seven piece RPG set Mythica Platinum Aquamarine. These are gorgeous. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The these Mythicas are really, are really, really nice. These are beautiful. I'm using my silver Dracona dice and I'm using oh, another set of dice, which actually are discontinued now. They are very old dice. Uh, that are gray and black, but I I really like my Dracona set. It is very sick. Um, and if you want your own set of Dracona dice or Mythica dice or any dice set you want, you can use the discount code Unexpectables exclamation mark to get ten percent off your uh, order uh, at checkout. So definitely check that out. Uh, okay. Also, I cannot recommend enough the dice trays. They're really good. They're magnetic and they flatten, so you can put them in binders. So if you go and play D and D at like game shops and stuff, you can easily flatten it, stick it in your D and D binder, and not have to worry about like carrying and something kind of clunky, which is really nice. That's wow. magic. That's black it, magic. It is. These are yeah, cool. die hard dice. These, oh yeah. These like dragon scale dice are really cool. That's what I'm using. I'm using yeah. the Dracona. They're I like really the really sick. Chaos Aether. This this is really pretty. Is that the rainbow one? Yeah, it's like the rainbow one. Yeah, I got Very. a big D twenty of that one. It's it's super nice. Oof. I like that their glow in the dark is called After Dark. <laughs> they have dice trays that have like lights too, which I kind of want to get for when I go camping. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have a lot of really crazy. And they have like the multi class dice, which is like the, they're magnetized. So you can actually like split them in half and like magnetize them as well if you're like playing a multi class character. Oh, they have a lot of fun with their ideas. It's very, very mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And shout out to Diana. She's our she's our person who talks to us, and we've uh, we've gotten into her into a little bit of trouble in the past, but nothing bad. But um, the good trouble. We, yeah, we had people purchasing dice using the code saying we're buy I'm buying dice to appease Diana, and she got contacted by sales, and we're like, what's up with this? And she was like, what? <laughs> she had no idea. Um, that was our fault. So oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um. All right, rap god time. I have to do bits and subs. So I will try my best to do this as, as quickly as possible here so we can get into the game. <clears throat> and Teleris, thank you so much for reading with the party of one. Free haircut and lobotomy. Thank you so much for the 250, uh, 45 bits. Wild magic party, let's go. Inferno, woo -woo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 19 months. I can't believe the end is near. It's been great. Hell yeah. One Sweet Girl, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for six months. PikaFan003, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 24 months. A two-year a two-year-old sub baby. Woohoo! Fantastic Pen that I cannot rap God. All right. Fantastic Kalen, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 23 months in a row. Dang, almost two years since I started watching. Super excited to see the chaos reign today. Uh Inferno Uwu, thank you for giving five tier one subs to the community. Thank you so much. Cubia Zero, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. I'm ready to see this whole game just explode. Yeah, we're using the player's handbook wild magic chart just to prevent actual world breaking stuff because some of the other ones are very world breaking. Uh, Slipstream at 96, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Wow, it took me a couple months of binging, but I finally watched a live show. Oh my gosh, you caught just in time for the end. Earliest Bread, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Spartanid, thank you so much for the tier one sub for eight months. Loving these one shots, super excited to catch this one in the VODs. Mengetsu Tatsumasa, thank you so much for the one bit. Whitefang9018, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 22 months. So excited for all the crazy magic. Char Avner, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 13 months. Just Nealon, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Shadeus24, uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 17 months. 17 months sub to the campaign that got me into D&D. Super excited to hear Arnold and Octo in the same party. Who's Arnold? They My name is autocorrected to many things, but that's far better than Adolf. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! All right, our Colvin Octo, we're presuming. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dead Inside, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Drew One, Drew One, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Dumb Reject, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months in a row. Two years in for the chuckles. Ren Poe, thank you so much for 100 bits. Might, uh, might still be high from last week, and I've been sitting on this since then. And I know it's early, but since this is the next to last episode and it's starring Zenryo, could we call this the Zen Ultimate Showdown? Like Rikaku that. the Psychro, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Uh, the Zack Monster, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 19 months. Uh, Daniel Bonin, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. 23, 3, 23. Archangel Azriel, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 11 months. Couch Lotion, which is a, a horrible image in my head. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Been a while since I caught one of these live. Super hyped for tonight and the grand finale. 
Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 15 months. Yo, we live early. This is pretty on time, honestly. This is when we should be live. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Monty, get Bosco in the call. I want to hear Zenryo talk with himself. I was <laughs> telling Octo how relieved I am to hear the Zenryo voice actually come out of Zenryo. Zenryo. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, though, actually, uh, if you would like to, uh, on our Discord right now is actually a live watch party, uh, which, assuming it's still in the works, uh, the main cast should be there. So the main cast is in our Discord at the moment, reacting to the game at the moment. Cool. So Bosco, Bosco should be in there. I'm pretty sure right. Connor's in there. Yeah, Thank so they'll be, uh, they'll be criticizing you the whole time, you know, like they Perfect. do. That sounds about right. <laughs> Classic Bosco. Yeah, classic, classic Bosco. Bosco. So definitely join the Discord if you're interested in that. Uh, Doom Knight 13 thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. I am here for one reason. Zenrio the wild boy. I hope Damn. you stay for the rest of the gang. Listen, Zenrio opens his hands and a puff of smoke appears, but this time it's blue. Holy Man. shit. That's wild. That's what we call getting wild. Ivan the Vandal, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 21 months. Hey, Octo, how long... Can you keep that laugh Zen has going? A long time. Not that long, actually. <laughs> okay. The Zach Monster that you switched that longer, bit. Longer than you would want. That's what I'll say. Make it like a ringtone. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do it till he hears something funny. I'm not I'm not going to do it until he hears something funny. It has to be from the heart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Weed Pixie, thank you so much for gifting two tier one subs to the community. Thank you so much. Moon Moon Alpha, thank you so much for the tier one sub for three months. Happy to keep supporting the channel. Also, Monty, the boot comment, Azerbaijan Borky. I have been using so much and people love it. It's such a good, good one. Uh, free Shavakadu, thank you so much for the tier one sub for seven months in a row. Please give me ideas for a DD train heist. The train is alive. <laughs> Neck. <laughs> and Neck you, you're stealing the train <laughs> rather than stealing what's inside the train. Yeah. You are yeah. the train. Yeah, <laughs> you become the train. <laughs> Necroma X, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Mangetsu Tatsu, uh, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Crit Scratch, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. Unexpectable Manias running wild, brother. Hell yeah. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Hey, last one off, thought I'd do this. Sad we couldn't get everyone in, but they are here in spirit. Hell yeah. Greckles' flowery nips, thank you so much for the 500 bits. So ready for chaos. I've missed Zen and welcome in our call. Also, hi, other new people. Renfield88, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Two years. Congrats. Uh, Bithrax, thank you so much for 100 bits. Whoop, all, whoops, all wild magic. Let's freaking go. The demon who invented NFTs, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. This game is already going swimmingly. Vex West, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for six months. Dax99, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Mist Lunar Bane, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months in a row. Uh, how many do we have left? I'm going to unfortunately have to skip reading the comments as we continue on forward because we need to get started here pretty soon. I have three minutes, so I apologize. But thank you guys so much for your heartfelt messages. They mean a lot. Thank you guys so, so much. Spicy, Spizzy Pretzel, thank you so much for 100 bits. Isaac, thank you for the 100 bits. Emerald Bandit, thank you so much for the 200 bits. The Atom Bomb, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Chul, 3394, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Raw Sodium, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Point Dexter, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 18 months. Dark Lord Popo, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 18 months. You Tyrant, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 14 months. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Just Nico one thank you so much for the 100 bits. McLean the Exane, thank you so much for the 100 bits. The Goblin Review, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 22 months. Uh, uh, quiet, quiet us... Quietus Riotus, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Volk551, thank you so much for the 8 bits. Hellborn, there's numbers in your name and I can't read it. I'm very sorry. But Hellborn, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 24 months. Anthony, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for two, 20 months as well. X Willy Willy, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 24 months. The Ursine Master, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Sun Mike 98 thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Morth Rander, thank you so much for the 100 bits. CRJ Joe, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Uh, Anthony, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Gaming Orc Falbear, thank you so much for the Prime sub for nine months. You are a sub, baby. Oh, 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 my dude, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Dr. Dendesnai, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Wolf in the Six, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 13 months. The Percocizer, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Tortilla Lady, God bless you. The Tortilla Lady, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. 
That one nerdy dad, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 17 months. Sario88, thank you so much for the 1,195 bits. Uh, NF3CT3D123, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 16 months. Common Riders, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sam the Golem, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Vex West, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Zanwood, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Hellscream Von Tang, thank you so much for the 100 bits. T Chaos, thank you so much for the Twitch one, uh, the tier one sub for 24 months. And Just Nico One, thank you so much for the tier one sub for eight months. Oh, okay, done. <laughs> right. Are you guys still here? Or did you guys no, drift no. away? Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Are you guys ready to get into the one shot? I am, yes. I am prepared. I'm yes, ready to go. Please. With that, let us return to Alavas. Alrighty. So. As we enter into the pocket dimension, Hidden and sequestered away in the highest, most district of Alavas lies a statue holding a mirror that leads to a pocket dimension operated and owned by Eos, the Azamar of wild magic. Sequestered inside is a secret school where four individuals train in the ways of wild magic sorcery to control their powers and weave them to their whims. Zenrio, you have received word to meet with Eos in the center of this pocket dimension. And as you make your way there, could you describe your character to the listeners for us, please? Certainly. Uh, Zenrio is a male triton. He is uh, orange with uh, clownfish markings, uh, making him... Well, he, he's orange with, with black and white markings, making him look like a clownfish. That is very much his uh, his vibe, his steez, if you will. Um, he uh, is just, you know, just a laid back guy. He just likes, he's just happy. He's just happy to be here, you know? And, uh, he, oh, he's never seen without his trademark puka shell necklace, of course, because mm -hmm. who would be who would be caught without that? Not Zenrio, that's for sure. As you hurriedly make your way to the center of the pocket dimension, you see currently pacing in the middle. This mm -hmm. expansive space is almost like a bubble in itself with different areas opening to others. The walls themselves, there are no walls. If you simply twist your arm or your hand, a doorknob will simply appear and open to the next space you intend to go. But the centermost spot is more open. Um, the floors are... they your feet hit the floors as if they're like solid marble. And yet when you look down, there's almost a swirling cloud-like texture to them as you walk forward. And as you proceed on hurriedly, you see currently pacing back and forth Eos, a woman who looks like this. You've seen her before, but for those yes. who haven't seen her, she stops and sees you and goes, Oh, Sanrio, there you are. Whoa, uh, Eos, um, how, what's up? You look like you're, uh, you're upset about something. Are, are you okay? My magical wards in the city of Alavas have detected that its takeover is imminent. I have sequestered away my other pocket dimensions, but this is the last. I fear that action must be taken i've called your fellow students and i hope to see them here soon whoa 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 who like not the whole city though right like just like part of the city like not the whole city's taken you're gonna be taken over right sanrio my most faithful student yes i fear for the worst does that mean the whole city she slowly nods 
Uh, As she says this, a door opens, a smaller door, uh, and walking out comes a gnomish individual, Arkolf, if you could describe Valsinian for everybody. Standing before you, or perhaps below you, is a portly man bedecked in dour, inconspicuous robes of a dark gray coloration that obscure all but his head. Barely cresting three foot in height, his earthen-toned skin is contrasted by his bright, silvery hair parted to either side of his face, pointed ears poking out defiantly from the shaggy, unkempt mess. His face is framed by a magnificent mutton-chop beard, amber-colored eyes shining with a glint of mischief, and at his side rests a strange object fastened tightly to his belt, a handle of wood capped with a strange, rubbery half-sphere. Oh, Valsinian, excellent, you've made it. Your summons sounded rather urgent. What's going on, exactly? I will inform you once the remaining students arrive. If you could take your place next to Zenryo, please. Oh, Zenryo, hello! What's up, Val? How's it going, man? Oh, you know, normal day, then got a summons. Right, of course. Okay, hey, yo, give me a low five, you know, because... Uh, sorry, do you want a regular high five or like a low five? As long as you don't kneel, we're good. Okay, uh, um, Zen will put his hand out, like, his, extend his arm straight down and sort of ha put his hand out. And Valsinian okay. will slap it. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, things sound pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Scale of one to everything on fire. Oh, well, um, uh, <laughs> uh Zen will look at Eos. Eos kind at this like, point actually has like a uh, her like kind of her her hand to her chin and a, you can see that she's kind of like gnawing a little bit on her pointer finger just nervously kind of uh, waiting. Zenriel will silently nod and look back at Valsinian and say, uh, "Everything on fire." Mm. Yup. Mm -hmm. Just as you guys are conversing, with a mechanical snap, eh, a door opens in the interdimensional space, and stepping out comes. A construct of all things. KG, if you could describe your character for everybody. Yes, of course. So, <clears throat> um, construct 76 is a, a fairly tall, let's say uh, about seven foot hulking uh, torso, mostly, with um, slightly skinnier legs and long, thick club-like arms. And his entire countenance is a very kind of a mild gunmetal gray, and you can see lots of dents and scratches and sort of chipping of his paint. His, his chassis has been through some use throughout his life. Um, or surrounding his body are various cables that pulsate with this kind of purplish, um, kind of wild magic, like in its pure essence, just being like, you know, um, circulated through his body. Um, he has very intense, um, uh, glowing, light purple eyes um, that sort of light up every time he speaks. Um, and as he walks into the room, he takes in uh, um, the folks he knows, and uh, he sees Eos and says, Greetings. Uh, <clears throat> Construct 76 here. Do you require oh. any test dummy usage today? We do not, Construct 76. I require your magic today, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's, he sees where everyone else is, and he sort of, like, joins the group. What, may I ask, is the matter today? There is a situation in the city that has been brewing for some time. I believe now is the time to take some evasive action, but I... Where is... Where is Arcanus? And as she says that, the door opens. As uh, Mick, if you would like to describe Arcanus for the viewing audience. Absolutely. Um, Arcanus is a tall, about six foot seven lizard folk, um, but fairly slender, um, not quite as broad as one might imagine. Um, <clears throat> his scales are blackish blue, very dark, as well as uh, his eyes are black as well, very big, very dreamy, very innocent looking. <laughs> um, despite his somewhat cold demeanor, uh, he spent a lot of time in the company of of others, not like his own kind. And so while innately he may come off as cold or uncaring, there are some learned behaviors, at least in an attempt to 
kind of socialize with others um, during his education. He also has a brightish yellow, kind of golden yellow fin, a single fin that runs down the back, um, the top to the back of his head, and he's clad in a very humble-looking robe. Okay. You watch as four individuals, including your teacher, turn and face you as you enter into the space suddenly. Greetings, fellow students. Eos. I assume that if we've been summoned here, this is a matter of some urgency. It is. It's quite urgent. I hear I thought you just wanted to say hi to us. <laughs> I wish that were the case. Believe me, I wanted to train you all together as one, but as I'm sure Construct 76 knows, a lot of wild magic at once can be a bit overbearing. Yes, sometimes hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Very true. My students, it is nice to see you all. To say I am not concerned would be a bit of an understatement. I have placed magical scrying wards about the city to currently watch its current occupation by the Orin clergy. I had hopes that my wards, as well as the sequestered magical portals themselves, would not be discovered by the Orin clergy, but as they ingrain themselves further into the city, I grow all the more unnerved about their discovery of mine. As you know, my being is made of wild magic of its entirety. I myself cannot exist within the material plane, lest causing some manner of magical accident, or that of my own destruction. For that, I have a mighty request and a dangerous request of you, my students, but it is one I must make to ensure the safety of not just the city, but perhaps the entire world. May I ask this of you? Well, of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah, Oops. we're here to help you. I mean, you've helped us. The least we can do is return the favor. Name your request and we shall fulfill it. You see, you're kind of like sigh a bit of relief for a moment and she goes, my intention is to sequester myself up by a physical manner. I have no means of reach to get outside the city walls. My magic ends there. The conduits I've placed that allow my magic to reach beyond its extensions is, well, while helpful is less reliable as they've been taken down by the Orin clergy. And I fear that those of a magical persuasion are now counter studying to find my location. I wish for them to not find me at the location once they discovered it. Does that make sense? Yes, but what exactly would they plan to do with you? My being is that of wild magic made unbound. There is histories deep rooted within magics that speak of powers of mine own making that can be used to destructive tendencies. I wish not for that to fall within their tans. And to be fair, being a test subject doesn't sound all that appealing. Yeah, seriously, what a bummer. So we must extirpate you from the city immediately. Yes. If you could. That being said, like I mentioned, my eyes have only been able to glimpse so much, and the city is fraught with peril, but you are my most talented students. If there's anyone who can get me out, it's you. So, where do you need us to take you? Like, just out of the city, or do we have to bring you to a location, or...? I have heard rumors that Westward is a sanctuary of safety, I don't know how easily accessible that is, but at the very least, if we get out of the city and out of prying eyes, we can at least hide away in the woods nearby and make our way there. I've been told there is a temple in the woods to the west, an old Orin temple built underground that leads to the Underdark. That is where my husband, as well as others, are apparently currently hiding. Well, okay. in the west it is. Well, I, I guess we don't really have a lot of other options, do we? The options you have are that which you have talent for, the spells you've prepared, and the wisdom you have learned from me. What I will do is I will shunt you from this pocket dimension, and I will convert this pocket dimension into that in the form of a crystal from the mirror. That way it's a little less cumbersome for movement. Carry me carefully. I will try and help you if I can, but my magics will be limited in this state. Do you think you can handle this? Oh, can we handle this? Come on, look at us. Sha. 
There is no other choice. I like to imagine Construct 70, like 76's arm just falls off in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> it just falls under the ground. Steam, Spark yeah. Sparking yeah. like a shoulder joint socket. <laughs> that can be repaired quickly. I do have mending. I can fix that for you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Here, let me give you a hand. 86% possibility that was a joke. 100% possible. Well, 99. Nothing's ever certain, right? <laughs> Certainly not. Okay. You have your effects on you, as well as your readiness. I will shunt you out now if you're ready. If you would like to prepare for anything, now would be the time. I believe time is of the essence at this moment. I would agree. Yeah, but we better get out of here. Preparedness is important as well. So, out of character, if you guys would yes. like to prepare any mage armor, anything of that sort, now would be a good time. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely. Also, um, Construct 76 has pre-prepared a pa like a, a thing of sandwiches, because usually when, when you guys do lessons and training during the day, he brings the sandwiches and snacks. Aww. 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 So Everyone add a sandwich to your inventory. That's oh, right. heck yeah. Connie came prepared. What kind of sandwich? Prepared. What kind of sandwich? <laughs> egg salad. He, he's, been, he's been really experimenting with egg salad recently, ever since he gained sentience. Sweet. He's just way into that egg salad. You know, sometimes he's, you like hyper fixate on like one kind yeah, of food. To him, it's art. Yeah, yeah egg salad. Okay. okay. So it should taste pretty good. Oh, this egg salad looks excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Ayo kind of talks her head and she kind of goes, where do the eggs come from? Never mind. Um, I'm creative. I know <laughs> you are. You have been very impressive lately, Construct 76. Thank you. I try to find egg or egg-like substances wherever I can. Mm, I'm not going to think about the second half of that sentence, but honestly, uh, I, I really, you know, normally I'd be worried, but like, I, I, I think we could do this. I mean... You know, this is what we've been training for, right? Using our magic for good and to protect people? Probably. I mean... Right? I mean, <laughs> <you know>. I <laughs> mean <laughs> equal parts helping and hurting. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say, Arkal? Equal parts helping and hurting. We help the people. We hurt the daylight dorks. So on. The that is to be noted. These and with my, individuals. Sorry, oh, sorry, no, no. She just points out, she goes, these individuals that have currently occupied the city, they will kill you. You understand this, yes? Oh, if it's the same guys from last time, then that doesn't surprise me. You fought them before? Oh, yeah. We dropped a dinosaur on them. Two dinosaurs! Most efficient. Two dinosaurs. Yeah, I mean, when one doesn't work, just use another one, am I right? Agreed. Mathematically correct. Hey, I solved a math problem for the first time in my life. <laughs> Were they to actually capture you, though, Eos, they would destroy so much more life. They would, yes. My powers are beyond imagining, and that made into the form of a weapon is very concerning. They are foolish to assume that they would have any control over such powers. They could hurt others in that pursuit. You would all know that as well as I. Oh, I got sad. <laughs> it's okay, Zenryo. There's no need to be sad. Be vigilant. I no, ask right, all of you. Okay. Remember your training. Now, for okay. those of you who have just rolled mage armors up, I would ask uh, for you guys to roll a d20 because you are wild magic sorcerers. Yes. Anytime you cast a spell, you need to roll a d20. And I believe if you right. land on a 20. Uh oh! Natural 20! It's a, <laughs> oh, isn't it a, is it a one or is it on a 20? Uh, when you roll I think one, Monty you roll does one, one and 20. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, no, 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 it is one, it is one. So when you roll a one, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can so we do it on a 20, 20. Just for me? <laughs> do it just for you. Fine, it's the first one. I never get 20, so roll 20. I'm rolling. Go Mine's ahead. just gonna take a little bit. Yeah, no worries. Your dial-up noise. I wish I, if there was a soundboard permitted, I would let you have the dial-up noise as you're rolling. Thing. Perfect. So roll this... that one d one hundred, right? No, you roll it. You roll it. 
74. Oh, oh D100. I'm sorry. I rolled a D20. Yeah. Rolled a D20. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> I'll oh, roll no. that one D4. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I'm going to roll a D4. So one is Eos. Two is Zenrio. Uh, three is Construct 76. If it lands on Construct 76, it doesn't work. And if it's four, then it's going to be uh, Arcanus. It'll be for uh, three hours. Yeah. Uh, as you cast it, as you cast your mage armor, you watch as Eos goes, uh, and she looks very sickly. Her glowingness kind of goes down a little bit, and she doesn't look very well. She has been poisoned because of your wild <laughs> magic surge. <laughs> And Construct 76, your magic goes off without any problems. Hmm. But yes, Splendid. if you guys roll a natural one, you guys will surge, essentially. Alrighty. Eos, kind of woozy. She goes, oh, that's going to make things a little difficult, but that's okay. All right, are you ready? Oh, was that me? I'm so sorry. Such it's is the okay. way of wild magic. It's okay, it happens. That's why you got to pack sunglasses and an umbrella. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, I could use some water, honestly. At least it I wasn't a fireball this time. Can, can... Does Construct 76 have a built-in water tap? <laughs> yeah, like there's like a, Perfect. like it opens and there's like a Here little water are, thing. Where's it located? Oh, <laughs> cup. <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. I don't know what you'll find out there, but be careful, okay? We shall. You watch your know us. Always you careful. She, <laughs> you watch as she brings up her hands and immediately crosses it. And as she does, you're all sh 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 shunted out of the pocket dimension, landing in a very, very beautiful garden space. Yes. Uh, Zen lands very ungraciously with his like legs sort of flipped up over his head. Valsinian lands face first. Arcanus lands exactly how he was standing. <laughs> so does Construct 76. Boop. Hmm. Beauty has increased 34%. You see around you what looks to be a very well kept garden with sort of a cobblestone grounds. Uh, there's some statues, various depictions of arcane creatures like owlbears, as well as griffins, and even like a uh, like a bronze dragon. Very decorative in nature. <gasps> Where is, where's <laughs> Fravane Jr.? Oh, for Rain Jr. is on. They're in your your jacket, I imagine. Okay. She's still. I open my. I open my robe. You still in there, girl? Skittering out for the rest of you guys is a living doodle of what appears to be a dragon. Um, I don't have. It's a shame I don't have the image. I can redraw it in five seconds. Give me. <laughs> do give it. Me a do it, Octo. Redraw. Okay, draw for Rain Jr. Okay. Keep. Keep. Uh, doing this now. It is a living drawing, as you guys are aware. Zenrio has drawn to life many things using magical pigments. Uh, for Vane Jr. being one such thing, as it is a dragon doodle that has come to life. It flaps okay. its tooty wings, kind of waving them in the air, and uh, sits perched on your shoulder, Zenrio. Do you need a, you need a PNG? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. It is a GIF. Oh, right? Man. Somebody <laughs> did make a GIF at one point, I think. Uh, okay. I want, to, I want you to know, Octo, we're not on the main game page, but on the main game, Fervain Jr. has literally been, like, the forefront image that we've yeah, had buddy. For, for a while now. It's it's kind of part and parcel. Mm-hmm. I think this is how she looked. I remember she had like the little roar coming out of her mouth. <laughs> and then show the class. I'm 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 finishing right now. Hold on. You said five seconds. I okay. You're working Red. in JoJo time right now. I, mean, I know. Well, it's it's about to become DBZ time. If you okay, here we go. <laughs> there it is. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Here's the. Here we go. This is. This is, I think, yeah, here we go. Yeah, there she is. There she is. That's adorable. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's my girl. That's your girl. She's on yeah. your shoulder. That's my okay. girl. As, as you guys exit out, 
immediately above you, you see a empty, like almost like dimmed crystal. There's this large crystal that kind of rises above um, the city proper that is anchored by four other crystals that are currently... Um, the main major crystal in the center is kind of faded and gray. The ones surrounding it are of kind of a bright light blue color that seem to glow eminently. Mm -hmm. The nearby area is filled with very, very, very well-made temples to various gods, as well as a sort of parliament-style building um, made out of very beautiful curved wood and stone. Um, where you guys are currently uh, is kind of hidden behind what appears to be a temple to Hoketh, the god of death. It is a large cathedral-like gothic building uh, that is currently still and quiet. There's not a sound. There is the ambient chirps of small birds, but beyond that is uh, really nothing else. It is just you and the space. So no, what? I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, oh, I was just gonna ask, about what time of day is it? Is it like afternoon? Is it morning? It's kind of like early morning. I'd say probably okay. like eight or nine a.m. Yeah. I would say. Okay. Okay. Um, is it is it sensible to assume that maybe Construct seventy six has a fairly decent map of the city um, within his own you know mind since he was you know created here? Would that be sensible to assume? I would say roll a survival check to see how much you've okay. re retained, being that you've been blasted by wild magic for a while this and that may have scrambled some things. This is fair. Survival, right? Yeah, survival. Okay. <laughs> now we wait three years until the uh, <laughs> rapid. You hear the uh, the old hard drive the spin modem. up sound in there. <laughs> oh God! Dial up noises. Yeah. yeah. You smell uh, the burning. Uh, was it thermal paste? Yeah. <laughs> Construct. Okay. While I can discern which direction is west, do you know which way happens to be the quickest way out of the city? <laughs> you see his eyes like flickering as if he's like <laughs> do you remember the old hard drive lights that they used to have on computer yeah. cases mm, yeah yeah 100 yeah. what he's got going on right now all right do you see the roll that happened yeah you got a 10 okay uh which is right in the middle which is pretty great um and yes uh arcanus you know exactly which way is westward uh unfortunately that will take you you have to go cut right across the main area, the main kind of promenade of the top district. But West is kind of past that. Uh, Construct 76, um, your memory serves. You have a lot of knowledge about the Middle Arcana district in particular, mm -hmm. as that was where you were made. That was where you were born. Um, you would know that that is currently to the West as well. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of probably Southwest a little bit which is a bit more direct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what I do is I use um, uh, press the digitation to sort of map quest it out onto the floor uh, okay. as per my memory well, from like a top-down view. So I, I just sort of like... It is my best formation. Yeah. This path would be my best formation out of the city. It takes us through the Arcana District. Okay, well, luckily, I mean, you know, we're Arcana, right? That's perfect. Sort of. <laughs> you oh. are made from meat. Well, you know what? It's not about the magic that you're made of. It's about the magic that's in your heart. And Construct 76 pokes, pokes his, like, body and is, like, very squishy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well... <laughs> so that's the fastest way out of the city, right? But not necessarily the safest. Yeah. I've got a solution for that. And what is that? Well, we know that the um, daylight dogs are teensy bit racist, yes? Uh, yeah, they don't like anyone that isn't them. So why don't we look like them? Well, how Agreed. Would we, how, how would we do that? I am very... I'm oh, sorry. I am very large and made of metal. Oh, you are, yes, but not for long. I cast Seeming. Okay. So that Seeming. That did not want to show up correctly. Let me display. There we go. So, any number of creatures, as well as you to change the appearance of any number of creatures you can see within range, you get each target you choose a new illusionary appearance. An unwilling target can make a charisma saving throw, and if it succeeds, it is unaffected by the spell. 
The spell disguises physical appearance as well as clothing, armor, weapons, and equipment. You can make each creature seem one foot shorter or taller and appear thin, fat, or in between. You can't change the target's body type, so you must choose a form that is the same base duration would live. Otherwise, the, illusion, the extent of the illusion is up to you. The spell asks for the duration unless you use your action to dismiss it sooner. Uh, the changes wrought by the spell fail to hold up to physical inspection. For example, if you use the spell to add a hat to the creature's outfit, objects pass through the hat, and anyone who touches it would feel nothing or would feel the creature's head and hair. So, what would you like everybody to look like, Valsinian? Given we know the foreign clergy tend to be racist against a lot of things, how about just humans? Okay. Valsinian all... looks like a human child. Okay. You got it. You're like a little boy. Excellent now, strategy. I'm not going to make us look like the clergy themselves. They would know who is on their side, and we don't need our allies thinking we're enemies. You got it. All They're right. just common folk. Then all of tap, you guys. Taps his head. You Before all look we like depart, now. Awesome. Before we depart, we should choose who is going to carry the crystal. Um, I'll do it. I mean, look, I'm good at hiding things. Oh, close. That was close. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> Are we in agreement? Wait, Zinriel? so who's carrying the gas? Yeah. Acceptable. I'll, I'll carry it. I mean, look, I, I'll just do it. You know, I mean, why not? Like, here, the check crystal, this out. Oh, yeah. No. The crystal itself almost has like a sort of zigzagginess to it, like a jaggedness to it, almost like a broken piece of obsidian. Mm -hmm. And it's a weird size comparison, but it's about the size of a banana is the best way I can describe the size of it. So it's not like super tiny that you're going to lose it very easily, but it's not like massively large either. Mm -hmm. I just need Notably, everyone to know that human um, construct 76 looks like Gaston. Yes. <laughs> like for your um, seeming appearances, make up your own. Do whatever you want and Valsinian will do it. Um, uh, um, Zenrio looks like a, like a total beach bum, like, yes, like string, like stringy blonde hair. That's sort of like dirty and sand, like sort of sandy and just, yeah, absolutely every guy you've seen hanging out on the beach doing nothing. Um, he, Zenrio, takes the crystal and says, look, check this out. I'm really good at hiding stuff. Uh, he puts the crystal in his hand and then and then puts both his hands behind his back and then says, pick a hand. Left. Zenrio thinks for a minute, shuffles something behind his back and holds out his left hand with nothing in it. See? They'll never find it. Perhaps we should reconsider no it's it's too late <laughs> the decision has been made we go westward all right oh, it's gonna be a fun day oh boy i would have laughed so hard if you were like okay the mission is a stealth mission and you rolled a one and then rolled the, the fireball immediately I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's a stealth fireball it counts yeah there you go yeah. All right, as you guys walk out of the garden uh, and make your way forward, kind of keeping, I imagine you guys are not going to be like hitting pots and pans together. You guys are moving at a no. stealthy pace. Well, I feel uh, like, well, my, my thought was we'd be moving at a totally normal pace, not like trying to hide, but like just mm -hmm. acting as normal as possible, which, you know, is never suspicious. <laughs> What is I'm... rather suspicious is the fact that the main promenade of the High District, as you kind of peek around a corner and actually view it in total, is completely vacant. There is not a soul here. It is eerily quiet. You see a piece of parchment kind of being buffeted by the wind, rolling over the cobblestones for a moment. But beyond that, it is eerily silent. Mm -hmm. Um. Can we do a, a perception check to hear if there's any noise anywhere? Absolutely, yeah. go for like, it. Other than the birds. Yeah, other than the birds. Just if there's just drums or talking anything from like any other of the uh, rooms. Wow. Nice. Arcanus with a 22. Do we all roll perception? Oh, I'll, I'll give it to Arcanus. Okay, okay. yeah, he's, uh, he's the one that Arcanus, as you kind of like <laughs> listen around um you do hear like a slight little bit of a voice to the to the south hmm. and you you know that there's four exits out of this space obviously the north south east and west uh the south exit being the closest 
Um, so you do hear kind of a general sort of like <laughs> chatter, but no real shouting or yelling. I cannot you discern. Do, oh, sorry. You you do in the far off distance hear kind of like the far off distance, the sound of like horns, but it's very faint. Um, you also kind of hear the the far off coos of weird pigeons. I forgot to mention the pigeons in this place are all weird. Um, they're either really long or way too big, or they're shaped like people, or they have like like weird they have weird eldritch shit going on with them. Um, so you do hear that on occasion, but beyond that, um, are the horns just anything. kind of are they just kind of like ominously everywhere? Uh, what background do you have? Uh, I. I have uh, my background is where 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 is it on this? Shoot, sorry. It should be on there. Maybe features and traits or uh... yeah. Here we go. It's under description. Yes. Oh, acolyte. Okay, so then you don't know what these horns are, unfortunately. Got it. Okay, so I just want to uh, say, as he, uh, Arca Arcanus is listening for stuff, uh, Construct 76 kind of leans in, like hovers, and in a voice that he just completely made up for this new human look, because, you know, he just recently gained sentience, he's practicing with humanity. He's like, mm -hmm. so, what do you hear? <laughs> oh, no. I oh, knew no. it. I knew somebody was going to try and work it in somehow. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is amazing. While I cannot discern exactly what they're saying, or even who it is, it, it seems as though there are voices coming from the south. I do not know if they are friend or foe, but they are not from the west. Oh, voices from the south, yes. Yes. They have can a distinct tell... southern accent that I could not have. <laughs> can, you, can you tell what kind of voices they are like? Is it, is it like mil like soldiers, or what is it? I am not particularly familiar with how others speak. I'm not the most social being. Um, no, it's more just voices. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, common sense would say to avoid them. I okay, would agree. But what, what if they need help? What if it's people that need our help? Did I would argue that the greater mission would be to get Eos out of the city. If we were to fail, it wouldn't matter who they were, friend or foe, their life would be forfeit. Yeah, okay, well, let's ask Eos. Uh, Zenryo pulls out the crystal and says, Eos, should we go see if those people need our help? We should talk to people need our help, he says, as shaking the crystal. Zenryo, I don't think you she do not was the one need who to said speak that. for me. You know I can <laughs> hear and perceive through the crystal, right? Yes, I knew that. I was testing to see if these guys knew that. I don't feel well. Um, whatever course of action you feel necessary, consider this a test of sorts, I suppose. <laughs> test or whatever, get out of here. <laughs> she doesn't feel well. She sounds really sick. Mm -hmm. Poisoned for three hours. <laughs> Almost as if she was poisoned. It definitely sounded like her head was in a toilet. <laughs> um, Wild magic toilet. Okay. Different okay. spell goes off every time you flush. Okay, um, well, okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll go west, but I'm just telling you, it could be someone that needs our help. Maybe they'd help us get out of the city, just throwing it out there. Look, what if we just go look, right? And if it's somebody we don't want to deal with, then we just continue west. <laughs> Is the, may I ask, is the direction where, where the voices are coming from, is that the, the most direct route out of the city, or is it, like, out of the way? That is the most direct out, out of this um, part of the city, but it is not the most direct way out of the city proper. So, mm -hmm. basically, if you were to go south, you would cut through this section faster, but then the middle section will be longer, essentially. Whereas mm -hmm. if you were to go west, the top section would be longer, the middle section will be shorter, and then the the lower section will be it's same for either, essentially. So it's pick your poison, essentially. We want a long trip to start with. Go west. Um, well, I don't know. Why don't we flip a coin for it? That seems on brand. That does seem highly illogical. The most logical choice would be to work away from the voices. However, I understand your compassion. If you choose to go south, to investigate these voices, 
You are my companions and my comrades, and your survival is contingent on mine, and vice versa. Wow. That was... That was the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It wasn't meant to be nice. Oh, okay. Well, um, I choose to take it that way. Uh, let's go check out the voices, but we'll just see what's up with them. I just, listen, I do necessarily, I just want to know what's up, okay? Then let us not waste time. Okay. I'm going to say for this, a group stealth check. So everybody roll stealth, and this will be if majority of you pass, you all succeed. If majority of you fail, you all fail. Ten. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, oh. Uh oh. A nat one plus four. <laughs> it's a nat one, so that's two failures. Oh no. Good thing we look like commoners. <laughs> I just trip nice over. I, I trip over and my human form just vanishes. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Computer's thinking about it. It's coming. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I believe in you, KGs. Yeah. Modem, modem, oh, okay. Modem. Hey. So, Somehow the giant robot. Pretty stealthy. Luckily, luckily, I rolled like garbage. So that is three successes and two failures. Am I both the failures? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's roll 20. It does this. As Mark you guys. It doesn't get out much. All right. No. Sorry. You got a tail to worry about, like your tail's yeah. dragging, hitting, hitting stuff, knocking yeah. stuff over. You guys, as a group, make your way. Arcanus like runs into like a tree at one point and like <laughs> kind of shakes it, and you guys kind of like grab him and keep moving him. And surprisingly, Construct Seventy Six is the most selfie out of all of you. Um, tip toes. Yeah, getting tip programming. Toe no. Mm -hmm. Well, he's been avoiding our attacks for who knows how long. Oh so yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so limber. <laughs> as you make your way you find yourselves hiding in a in a basically an entourage of of shrubs and you kind of stick all your heads out and you see there is an arc gate specifically that you know leads out of the high district uh, and you see currently positioned there are two uh well-armed guards um bearing sun uh imagery on their on their armor as well as holding to their side uh, what appears to be a scimitar and a dagger on either side, currently sheathed at their side. And they seem to be kind of looking about, weighing back and forth, and kind of are conversing at the moment, just kind of talking. Uh, I would say roll a perception, all of you, to hear if you want to hear what they're talking about. Yeah, sure, why not? Are you There's serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god, Arcanus! <laughs> Are you serious? Ones. Two in wow. a row. All right, it's I'm five, getting it out of my system now. Dude, I'm telling you, Arcanus does not do well outside of a oh, school oh, or oh. a pocket dimension. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Arcanus. Arcanus and Construct 76, as you're listening in, a, a weird creature approaches from the sky. It's wings are shaped so oddly and it has these large antenna coming out of it and it has such beautiful patternings on its wings and as it lands it's so fascinating what is this uh a plumage it's a spectacle uh, i've never seen anything like this before valcinian and zenrio as you're listening and you look over you see currently crouching like two school kids poking at a dead worm on the ground construct 76 and arcana is currently looking at a butterfly that is very pretty, but um, is it's just a butterfly. Beautiful insect I've ever seen. Construct, do you know the name of this creature? No, do you? No, I, I've never seen anything like it. Share uh, this moment with me, friend, and I hold his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zenario and Melcini, you guys look away from that and look towards that's the That's adorable, guards. but I have a mission to do. Uh, you hear one of the guards go, God, all the people here are idiots. As soon as we can get a boat out of here, I'm taking it. Another guy goes, yeah, I agree. I mean, the pay is good, but God, I can't wait to get out of this dump, huh? Nothing but a bunch of weirdos here. <laughs> and they kind of just generally chatter. What a bunch of like, jerks. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, kind of here. It's like, did you see that statue in that district? Yeah, that shit looked like weird. What was that? Some sort of like gargoyle or something? I don't know. They just kind of keep chatting in general about random stuff. 
Um, so they're standing by a gate, and that gate would take us out of here, right? Or out of the, uh, that this would area? that would take you southward, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Zenrio will go back to uh, uh, Arcanus and Construct Seventy Six, and say, "Hey, those guys were talking about. Whoa, what's that bug? These Isn't colors beautiful? are incredible." Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Zenrio immediately crouches down or sits down on the ground and like looks at the bug with them. <laughs> anyway, what did they say? Oh, uh, they were just talking about how they want to leave here, so they don't need our help. They're total jerks. Um, we could probably go the other way. I, I don't want to. I don't want to run into those guys. They plus, I mean, I know we're disguised. And he realizes that he should probably talk a little quieter. I realize that we're like disguised and stuff, but. You know, it's probably not worth breaking our cover, right? I yeah, suppose. we really shouldn't. Okay, so... What are our other options in terms of locations that we can exit from, Construct? Uh, do, uh, I, I press the digi uh, press the digitation, the map quest thing out again, and let's explore other options. So, right now we're towards the south gate, right? We still have the west. Oh, yeah. We still have, the, have west the west gate through the Arcana district. Um, yes, the west gate will take you to the Arcana district. Yeah. The south gate will take you through the clerical district, which is where there are more temples, essentially, to various different gods and whatnot there. These were Would the we... voices that I heard from the south? They are, yes. Yeah, Got it. They're just two guards. Got two it. guards, yeah. yeah. Two guards. Um, let's... Oh. Uh, well, let's go to the west then. I mean... It's no sense, you know, getting into a fight that we don't really have to get into, you know? I think I'm... more importantly is that they could alert other soldiers. So uh, yes, okay. I do believe us leaving them alone and finding another way around would be optimal. Yeah, well, they got lucky. This time. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, I'm sure, with your prowess and all of our powers, we could take them out, but it seems unnecessary at the moment. Yeah, they don't want any of this. And uh, Zenrio, like, motions all over his body. They don't want any of this. Construct Vane, 76. Oh, sorry, go ahead. For Vane Jr., like, flexes, but they're it's just a stick figure, so there's nothing there. I, I imagine that for Vane Jr. is, like, animated on ones, so, like, everything <laughs> yeah. he does, like, like, really fast. <laughs> Construct 76 raises his hand and is like, I believe I could convince them to leave their post, but I will go with whatever decision the group goes with. Yeah, I mean, you know, we could, like, magic them into leaving, but I think we should probably save our powers for something that we absolutely have to need it, use it for, you know? There's always the chance a surge could go off, so better safe than sorry. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to use magic, just the power of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now well, you have me curious. What was your yeah, plan? Yeah, actually, I, I kind of want to see this. No, 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 wait. But it would be really funny. No, but, okay, okay. What do... Look, let's check out the West. I still think we should go through the Arcana District. I'd be good for that as well. I'm very familiar with those streets. I'm trying to incorporate slang into my speech. How am I doing? You're doing great, buddy. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> is this how others speak outside in the city? No, I, It is I, strange. I think, Depends on the like, people. Yeah, I think he's like getting into character, you know? Oh. That was a Shall we? butterfly, by the way, the thing you were looking at. A butterfly. Uh, a a butterfly. fly. It did not seem to be made of butter at all. Yeah, yeah, it was more like a bug. Why don't they call it a bugger fly? Well, you see, when you see them like that, they're actually on the verge of death because they can no longer eat or drink. They've already done their business. It's I also beautiful believe... in an ephemeral way. Yes. I also believe that the term bugger is, uh, has a different meaning. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll remember that one. Was it like buddy or friend or something? I believe it does have to do with some kind of friends. Yes. Okay. I like to think this right. is the conversation they're having as they're moving towards the. <laughs> yes, the as roll a self check, gang. Go ahead and roll a group <laughs> self check as you sneak away. Talk about butterflies. Oh, these poor guys. 19. Nice. 16. Uh, 13. All right. I'll I'll tell and you. We're waiting on we're waiting on Costa. Yeah, we can, you can I'll do tell it. I you in twelve we can... seconds. <laughs> it's like a tape oh, deck yeah. computer. I know, right? 
There we go. 11. Those are all successes. That's four successes and zero failures. Good job, guys. You guys <laughs> discussing a butterfly managed to sneak away as the guards are very much distracted and are not paying attention to mm -hmm. basically where you guys are at at very least. Do I as still you guys have that magical compass? That's a good question, Mega Man. What was the magical compass that you had? Uh, it was a, an orb that showed me direction. I had an orb of direction. Oh my god, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. it's been three years. Can you tell? Yeah, me? I just totally just remembered that. Da, 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 da. Hey, it, it, sweet. So, yes, it is working now. It, it's actually great because that'll blend really, really well with, uh, with Arcanus, who has a very good sense of direction as well. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So as you guys currently head uh, west... You check the compass as well as Arcanus, your own keen mind, mm -hmm. um, and you are able to determine. As you guys cross over the cobblestones of the main foyer, it is open, it is empty, and it is very quiet. Eventually, you creep past, going past the Temple of Ilene, the god of the moon, uh, kind of sneaking around a couple of the gardens, obviously not wanting to take, I'm assuming, a direct path on the road yeah. out in the open. Uh, eventually leading you guys to a similar uh, situation where you see a gate again, and you see two additional individuals. And unlike the other ones, these two are currently looking side to side, head on a swivel, two guards, also well armored, same gear, uh, currently looking around at the moment and keeping an eye on the gate. Um, so they're, they're, okay. So this is the other gate that would lead out of this district? This is the west gate, yes. And okay. it is guarded the exact same, interestingly enough. Hmm. It appears we're in the same conundrum. However, these soldiers appear to be more alert. Hmm. Wait Though I would assume that perhaps where they are guarding is actually of more import. This could be our way, but we will have to deal with this. Well, we I mean, we could use the power... the. Power of conversation, as you know, yes. Connie put it. And if all else fails, we murk them. <clears throat> okay, well, let's not jump to, you know, any conclusions here. Let's see what we can do peacefully first, without any conflict. Then we'll see what we, we need to do, you know. Yeah, that's fair. If we make any noise, the other guards will probably come running, so. Construct, yeah. you had a plan to converse? Yes, I will simply walk up to them and let them know that we need to get inside, but in a very charismatic way. Okay, all right, I like it. Um, we'll, wait, we'll act totally normal and back you up if you need help. Perfect, this sounds like a plan. Okay, so the plan is for Construct 76 to approach with you guys flanking him, behind him, mm -hmm. the guards. Okay. As and, uh, the hmm? oh sorry, I, one quick question. You you mentioned that Construct seventy six was born in this district, right? Like, so yes. he should know it fairly well. You do, yes. You know it fairly well in terms of direction. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, Construct seventy six, as you know, still disguised as the Gaston human, uh, walks up. You know, fairly confidently. Um, yeah, as he's as he's witnessed, uh, living things tend to puff out their chest if they're you know, fairly confident in themselves, so they he he sort of pronounces his Oh uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh repeat KG, you cut out there. Sorry. Discord had a bit of a snap. Just a little too vividly and just pff, yeah, noise. Um he he you know, he he marches up, starts to march up to the guards very confidently, chest out, you know. Um maybe a little too wobbly because he 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 thinks this is called swagger. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is everyone else behind me, or are you just it's just like off to the side somewhere watching this happen? <laughs> just, I'm. I, I believe we're, I was at least flanking to your side. Yeah, yeah. To your we'll right. I'll we'll just walk behind. Side. Yeah. We'll Ossinian is with you as well. And just for note, he looks like the most pathetic little starveling child with a horrible <laughs> bowl cut. <laughs> oh. As you approach, the guards kind of do a double take when they see you approach. And immediately they both kind of put their hands to their weapons. Uh, and the one turns to you. He's a very tall man, uh, kind of black shaggy hair, mm -hmm. uh, and has a very large scar that kind of runs uh, ho uh, horizontally through one eye. And he kind of okay. turns and goes, who the hell are you? 
And these are both humans? They are both humans, yeah. Okay. Hello, fellow humans. And Roll a deception check with grandly. disadvantage. <laughs> doing, doing great. <laughs> Killing it. Uh, hmm. Hold on a moment. Tides of chaos, please. You have advantage? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have okay, advantage okay. on the deception Wait, check. Deception, you... okay. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> it's rolling. <laughs> do it i believe and while we're doing that roll your wild magic surge oh you're just giving it back immediately yeah i am 13 oh. i'm so oh, sad i want to no. surge i need everyone to make wisdom saving throws for me please oh wait Including hold on the guards wild magic oh. surge not rolling i need to roll the actual 1d 100 not the 20 yeah oh yeah oh okay. yeah, gosh it's different, it's different then it's different then i rolled a four don't worry about it. That you don't actually have to oh, roll. Seven. Oh, seven. Not as good. <laughs> oh no! You're what shitting happened? me! I need everyone to roll dexterity saving throws, please. Oh my oh, god. Oh, no. yeah. what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, fellow humans! And then immediately the oh, big god. explosion goes off. Six! God damn it! Seven. That is a failure. That Nine. is a failure. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, my God, you can- God damn it! Roll 20! Oh, what's your spell save, DC? Falcinian? Uh, uh, 17. <laughs> 17. Oh my fucking God. That's a failure from the first card. That's a failure from the second. Everyone You want me to fails. roll the damage? Yes, please. Uh, as a fireball go off, goes off immediately the moment, <laughs> Construct 76 says, wow. Hello, fellow humans. That was <laughs> luckily a very low roll. In yes. response, Aos is going to give you guys a font of protection. Having this, she's going to give you resistance to fire damage. Okay. So you all take nine points of damage. Okay, the guards fair. do not have this protection. They're going to take 19 points, and I need everybody to roll for initiative. Because <laughs> <laughs> immediately... <laughs> you're I not... can't believe immediate fireball! <laughs> oh my god. Hello, fellow humans! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It goes with the Bane voice. The stadium was exploding. <laughs> We're gonna blow up Gotham Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> 23 initiative. 12. All right. I gotta do some math here. Oh my god. Our call. <laughs> Way to make a first impression. Poor, poor Construct 76 is just trying to make friends. <laughs> I rolled a nine. Alrighty. Oh, that's very easy. Do our do yeah. our disguises uh, dissipate at this point? Nope, they last eight hours. <laughs> no, oh, they last eight humans. hours. He, doesn't he have to roll? Is it concentration? Uh, 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 no, it just lasts. It yeah. just lasts. Pretty yeah. sure it just wow. lasts. Double check though, just to make sure. It's not concentration. It's just eight hours. Nice. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, seeming is pretty pretty good. That means construct seventy six is going to be. <laughs> This the entire time. <laughs> Using his voice this whole session. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. And let's roll for your enemies who are very much surprised. Uh, Alright, guards. Alright, Arcanus, as the explosion goes off, you are a very smart lizard folk. You know that the time for peace has ended, probably. It is yep. your turn. What would you like to do? As these two guards go Gah! and immediately pull out their weapons. Uh, let me take who, what was the initiative again? We have, okay. You're first. Zinryu. Yeah. I am first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're, you're first. <clears throat> All right. Um, I turned, uh, so, uh, Z Zenrio, where are you? Uh, we were all, I think we were standing behind. You're uh, all together. So we're all together. I would say, I would say, uh, Construct 76 is 10 feet ahead of you guys. And you guys are evenly spaced out behind him. All right, cool. I turn to Zen Ryu. My friend, I suggest you make haste. And I cast haste on him. Okay, Zen Ryu, you are hasted. The world, yeah. like the men as they pull out their swords, just slows down as slowly things are beginning to take their pace, and you are hasted. Oh, before I was scared. Now I'm scared and fast. 
<laughs> uh, um, roll a d20 for me, uh, Arcanus, because you are casting the spell. You got it. If you get a one again, I'm gonna lose my. You're mind. good, dude. You're good. <laughs> it's fine. You, you should totally I gotta be a four, man. This is low, low today. <laughs> of all the ones to be low on, this is the one. Got all it. right, Arcanus, that is your action. You have your movement and your bonus action. If you would like to make space, or if you'd like to. My bonus you know. action. Can I? Can I move back? Uh, you can move back with the movement. You are not within melee space of these guards, so you are perfectly safe. All right. Cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to move off. I'm gonna flank even more to the side, so I have a clear shot at these guys, but that I'm not like in the group. You got it. You kind of veer off to the yeah. right, I would say, and kind of like position yourself so not to be grouped up. Yeah. It's All right. Like, it have is. Fun with this, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Go fast. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, that brings us to the guards. Immediately, they start coughing as the dust subsides and they bring out their uh, scimitars and daggers. Immediately, Construct 76. Uh, they immediately, the first one charges you and is going to swing three times at you. Oh dear. First attack is probably oh, no. gonna miss, that's a nine. As they swing, you do something a test dummy has never done before. You dodge <gasps> the attack. What am I doing? It feels so right. <laughs> Uh, second swing is definitely going to hit. That's a 23 to hit. Ouch. Uh, they swing wide with a scimitar, and you get clipped for five points of slashing damage. Gotcha. And they bring out their dagger and swing again. Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit. Uh, meets. Meets, so that means it hits for... Uh, very sad. Uh, four points of damage. And it's interesting, as you're hit, you hear the sound of metal on metal as the streaking comes across, and the guy goes, uh, what the hell is this thing? The other guard is going to flank with his buddy, making a murder sandwich, uh, and is going to swing a 15. Does a 15 hit? Uh, no, no, it does not. All right. They swing and miss with their scimitar for the first time. They swing again. That is going to be a 19, which I believe hits. Yes. That is going to be eight points of slashing damage to you, Construct 76. And for this third swing with a dagger, natural one. Oof, oof. I'm gonna roll severity. All right, as he goes in with his dagger, he doesn't quite know what to expect with this metal plating, and you watch as he hits you and the dagger rings out of his hand and scatters across the ground out of his reach. That ends the enemy's turn. Zenrio, it is now your turn, and you are fast. You are speed. Um, okay, so could I go through this gate? Uh, um, you can run through the gate, yeah, if you want to. Oh, yeah, but I, I wouldn't leave my friends behind. That's not what I... That wouldn't be what Zenrio would do. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. It's a bit overkill. Uh, they'll send in your to follow after Zenrio. Mm -hmm. I've already got my stuff planned. I believe you get an extra action, too. You do, yeah. yes, with haste. I, extra I, bonus I, action or an extra action of your choice. Yeah. Um, just keep in mind, you cannot cast two spells a turn, though. So I, I can't mind. cast two numbered spells. I can cast two cantrips, right? You can cast two cantrips, yes, but you That's cannot right. cast uh, two, two spells. numbered yeah. spells. Um, okay, in that case, uh, I will cast... Everyone's favorite spell, chromatic orb at one hey! of these cards. Um, All right. Okay, which I believe is. Oh, wait, I think I have it on my thing here. Yes. 14, unfortunately, misses. As you go to That's swing, strange. the guard brings up his scimitar and blocks the magic. Oh, no. Uh, okay, in that case, I will cast with my uh, extra action from. Um, from haste, I'll cast Firebolt at the same. You got it. 21. That hits. 21 absolutely hits. And then it is going to be this. Oh, oh no. You need to click what? the name in the oh, chat box. In, Remember? Oh, in the, okay. Let's try that. Oh, my How's God. That? How's 18 that? 18 points of damage. It is actually on, a little on the low side because I rolled a one on there. That's pretty good, though. You 
throw out the chromatic orb and the guard, the scarred guard, parries it out of the way and it sprays across the ground, this raw arcane power. Mm -hmm. And as you thrust out your palm, a firebolt streaks across and hits him right behind and he kind of staggers forward onto one D and he's like, ah, <sighs> casters! I need you to roll your wild magic surge because you cast it a oh, numbered spell. You are correct. Um, yep. Come on, blue. Turn someone blue. Turn nope. someone Man. blue. Damn. Um, can I? I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, no. Okay, I'll. I'm gonna move off to the side. So like, I'm gonna move away. So like, we're not all together. Opposite um, end. You got it. Yeah, move to the left. Opposite end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you rush and kind of push, push, push yourself behind a tree, kind of to give yourself a little bit of cover, even though we don't run cover, unfortunately. Right. But sounds good, yeah. yeah I'm gonna be out of the way. All right, Valsinian, it is now your turn. I'm sorry, mister, I have explosive sneezes. Valsinian will sneeze again and cast Create Bonfire under their feet. Oh, okay. Making certain not to hit Construct. That is uh, a DC 17 deck save. They are in a murder sandwich, so you can only really hit one without hitting Construct 76, unfortunately. Ah. And I'll hit the grizzled one. The grizzled one? You got it. Dexterity saving throw, you said? Yep, DC 17. DC 17. That is going to be a 14, which is a failure. Go ahead and roll damage. That is 14 fire oh. damage. Uh, and this here's the description. Pretty rough. So... As you sneeze, this massive bonfire erupts in place, and you hear the guard scream as his hair catches fire. It now smells like burnt hair. Uh, and yeah, no, he's uh, he's in a rough uh, spot at the moment. Construct if he ends 76, his turn there, he gets burned again. <laughs> he sure does. Uh, Construct 76, it's it's toasty. Toasty. I, I'm, I'm not, like, in danger of being in the fire right now, am I? You are not, no. You are okay, safe. Okay. Okay, so uh, who, right. who's closest to me? Uh, is is it the one in the fire, or are they both kind of the same distance? They are both the same distance. They currently, you are currently between the two of them at the moment. If they've been swinging at you, they want to flank okay. you to get that bonus. So okay, so I, I approach uh, the grizzled one who was in the fire, and, and and I say, "We were just trying to be sociable," and I reach out to like grab his hand as if to shake it, but I'm shocking grasping him. <laughs> You got it with advantage. They're wearing armor. <laughs> Cast that. Bo boom. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, no, no. I accidentally. Sorry. I accidentally clicked on the damage thing, not the actual two roll oh. thing. Let me. No oh, worries, no. Now no it's going to take forever. It's okay. It's like You're all good. Da, 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 I, for one, love your slow computer. It's great. Every time you click it, I just hear the dial up noises, and it's great. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, well, that would have been a great 20 points of damage, but uh, let's Well, let's if it hits, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll honor it if it hits, so. Oh, sweet, sweet. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, all right. Here's the actual attack roll here. With advantage. So how, how's your guys' day while we're waiting for this <laughs> roll to go through? It's going it's going good. Going good now. Nice, nice. Right. I one more wild magic. <laughs> we saw a butterfly. It was a beautiful butterfly. It was very pretty. Okay, hey, that hits. I would say roll again for a natural twenty, but you know what? Let's just let's just grace this and go with this <laughs> for twenty points of damage. And you're aiming for which one again? Uh, the grizzled guy who's already being shit on a little bit. <laughs> as you, he is on fire and he's screaming. You grab his hand and you watch as an electrical <laughs> current runs through. You see his bones in his body as a <laughs> crackling, hissing pop goes off and he lands to the ground dead. And the oh, other guard is like, diplomacy. Ah! <laughs> the other guy screams as he sees the charred remains of his buddy currently on the ground, now being consumed by the bonfire. Would you like to have a conversation next? <laughs> he like staggers backwards. Uh, Arcanus, uh, unless you would like to do anything else on your turn, Construct 76, is that on your turn? Uh, well, a question. Um, as he staggers backwards, does it trigger an opportunity, like attack? No, opportunity? it's it's okay. for flavor. If he was moving okay. away, okay. I would tell you have an opportunity. Gotcha, gotcha. Attack. Yeah. Nope, he's just I'm like done. backing away and like almost ready to fall yeah, over. Is, that is horrifying what he just saw, to be fair. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Arcanus, it is now your turn. I have no desire to harm him. However, he could alert others, so we must subdue him. I'm going to cast Firebolt 
Can I can I shoot that over at him? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. All right. Ooh, unfortunate. Eleven. As you as you fling off, he's like backing away from from Construct seventy six in terror, and he sees yeah. the firebolt and manages to duck as it whizzes past and scorches off some of his hair. <gasps> You see him actually currently padding around, uh, assuming that ends your turn, Arcanus. Would you like to move or bonus action? I'm gonna, or? I'm gonna close the gap. I'm gonna start approaching. I'm not gonna get up in his face, but I'm gonna get closer to everybody. You got it. You start approaching closer with menacing intent. Uh, it is now the guard's turn. Uh, the guard is going to swing three times at you, Construct 76. First attack without the flanking bonus. Uh, Terrible 10, which is going to miss. Oof. Second swing. He's scared. It makes sense. Yeah. But that's going to hit. That's a 24. I'm getting like extreme ends of rolls right now. Flailing. Uh, yeah, he's kind of like wildly swinging his scimitar at you in terror. That is going to be uh, seven points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, he's missing his dagger. So he doesn't have his third attack because he got the natural one last time. So he swings wildly at you, and you see his hand reaching down, and you watch as he pulls out a horn, mm -hmm. like the instrument, and that ends his turn. Zenrio, it is now your turn. You are still going fast. Everything is happening in slow motion. It's almost like when you play uh, Fallout, when the guy died and he like explodes. <laughs> it's in slow motion, and like the electricity is really slow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty weird. Whoa, crazy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. There's this guy with the um, with the uh, pulling out the horn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if this is worth it or not. Has 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 he been hit at all? He has. Yeah, he got blown up by that fireball initially. <laughs> okay, I have to. I have to read a spell really fast to make sure you I got can it. Do no worries. That I want to do. This is the group um, where I figure there's gonna be a lot of like, hold up, I need to read something. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I would be surprised if you didn't. Oh man, okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cast, and I think I can do this as a bonus action. Eh, it's whatever, we're, we're having fun, right? Yeah. Um, bonus action. Uh, it's around. She's doing it any time. If you switch targets, I can't tell if this is a bonus action or not. I think it is. Um, what does it say to the right of the spell under uh, time? Well, casting the spell is an action, but using it, so it's telekinesis. Um, oh, that'd be an action then. Yeah. To to use it or to cast it? Uh, to to cast it. Yeah. So it would so, take your action slot. Yeah. So if I cast it, can I still do the thing? Because it lasts for 10 minutes. So like, is, uh, is casting it right. doing the thing? Telekinesis is weird. I keep forgetting. Panic has it. So I believe you do. Okay. Tele Telekinesis. I Connor's messaging me. You can cast and use it in the same action. Yes. Okay. Yes. Says. And I then trust I'll, him because he's used the spell before. So I, you, I'll cast telekinesis and pull the horn out of his hands or attempt to. Okay, go ahead, and I believe I have to counter your spell modifier. So I believe it's a check here. Let me check that. Uh, it says uh, your spell casting ability contested with that creature's strength check. You got so it. He's going to make my... a strength check. Okay. Awful. Uh, go ahead and roll a charisma check, I believe. Ten. Yeah, you beat him. He rolled a two plus four. So that's a uh, six. Cool. So um, you wretch the horn out of his hand. He goes, oh, it kind of gasps and looks around. He has no idea who's responsible for that, considering all of you are casting. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, give me that. And I, I take the horn from him. Can I hit him over the head with it with a bonus action? <laughs> you know what? Sure. Go ahead and just roll an unarmed strike. Okay. Um, That's just an attack roll, right? I think. Yeah, it's just an attack roll, yeah. I, I have no modifier for this, so it's just a flat d20. 
Let's do it. That hits. <laughs> <laughs> my roll a, D4, right? I think. Yeah, roll, just roll D4. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> you 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 pull out the horn from his hand. He's like, oh, and you immediately make the donk noise, like the 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 go to jail or whatever that like mm -hmm. meme noise. You donk <laughs> him over the head. He's like, ah, oh, and you like mm -hmm. drift. I imagine you drift the horn out of his reach, so he can't yeah, try yeah. and it, grab it, it back. Yeah, Goes. I I the range is pretty far, so I put it like way up high in the air. You got it. You like hang it in a tree out of the mm -hmm. way. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, okay. Can't get it. Ooh, nice try. Ooh, not that quite. Was your, your action, your bonus action. Would you like to use a cantrip as your additional action with your hasted action? Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, I'll throw a. F <laughs> um, I'll throw a ray of frost at him because I think you got this it. Will, this makes him slow as well. Chill out, dude. <laughs> yeah, chill. Um, ray of that hits. Twenty-two absolutely hits. Thirteen Earth. cold. Oof. He is looking pretty rough as this bolt of frost sprays over him. It kind of singes some of the fire. You hear some spitting and hissing from the flame. And you watch as it kind of, this one reduces his speed, correct? That's by 10, yeah. Yeah, you watch as it like begins to crystallize around his knees. And he's like, can barely stand up almost. He's hobbling a bit as he's standing in place, being bombarded. That ends your turn, Zenrio? Yes, that is my turn. All right, Valcinian, it is now your turn. Alcinian's going to sneeze again. Okay, Firebolt you got this it. time. Firebolt, you got it. 19, 19 hit. That is... Oh. Wait, we forgot something again. Oh, yeah. Roll your wild magic surge. I'm fine. <laughs> You're good. That's 19 oh fire God. damage. 19 fire damage. As you blast this man in his shoulder, he reels and is, like, barely holding on. He is on fire, on ice. Like, one half of his body is on fire. The other half of his body has been iced up, and he looks terrible right now. Okay, then I'm going to use a sorcery point for Quicken Spell and hit him with another firebolt. You got it. When that hits seven hits. Do you roll... Seven hits. Do you do two wild magic rolls if you if you do that? Nope, because uh, he's casting uh, a cantrip. No. Nope. Yeah, oh, I'm, shoot. I'm yeah, staying yeah, yeah. safe right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cantrips don't. And that me. is 12 fire damage. You hit his shoulder on the first firebolt and go, and then whoosh, whoosh, throw another one and just take his head clean off as he falls Whoa. down. Oh. On the and with that, there's a moment of still. I've heard of sneezing so hard your head explodes, but I didn't think it'd be literal. Fatality. There's a crackling, pop popping hiss as the bonfire is currently consuming the bodies of these two guards. Well, I think that went well. <laughs> yeah, staring at the burnt, singed, headless guy. I do believe they have been subdued. Yeah, you know, I'm not a big fan of doing that, but sometimes, you know, you don't really have another option. Agreed. Uh, Zenrio is still hovering, but this lasts for 10 minutes, by the way. So tell me when telekinesis is up. Um, uh, well, first, haste yeah. ends and you become, oh, yeah. which also causes telekinesis to kind of shut down as well. Yeah. Notably, I'm not, I'm not a big that... fan of doing that, but I really don't mind it when I have to. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry for exploding. Oh, no, it seemed to spice up the conversation. Look, sometimes you can't control it, and we understand that, right? What do we always say? I am my magic, and my magic, magic is me. Magic is me. Together, it's, it's, together we make one we make whole one piece. Whole... And... And... <laughs> <laughs> And together we're free. And together we're, we're, we're free. free. There you go. Oh, see? That, that is what we say all, yeah. the, all the time. All the time. Yeah. We say it constantly and it makes so us feel much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I even, I, we say it so much, it, the words become just garbled in my head. Yeah. You just forget yes. it. It's like, you know, when you do something so often, it becomes like an autopilot thing. You know, yes. sometimes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You get it. Okay. Um, so Shh. let's, let's, uh, well, I think we should. Wait, and gingerly step over the steaming bodies. <laughs> like, <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well. Should we should we perhaps put these bodies in a place where they aren't so exposed? Bro, you read my mind. 
We gotta move these guys out of the way, because what if a patrol comes by here, sees them, freaks out, then I took his horn for no reason? Yes, I'm that's pretty, what I was saying. I'm pretty sure they're going to see the scorch marks. Well, shall we- Also, shall we dig a hole the firebolt was a massive explosion, I just want to point out. Mm. We may want to run. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. As you guys run into the middle Arcana district, rushing through, I would like everybody to make perception checks for me real fast. Okay. <clears throat> 11. I, I roll a natural one. Aw. Oh. Hey! Arcana's <laughs> with a natural 20. Between the ones and... Yeah, okay, great. I'll take it. 26. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Construct 76. He needs a RAM upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is pretty decent. I, as you guys kind of run through the Arcana District streets, the notable thing you, that you know, especially Construct 76, is that it's known to, for a lot of wizards, housing a lot of wizards, a lot of magical schools, magic shops that sort of thing. And as you guys kind of begin to run down the shop ward where people can buy and purchase magical items, um, you all kind of look and hear and see as uh, soldiers are approaching and you guys manage to hide in an alleyway as they run past, heading towards the sound of the explosion at a very breakneck speed. Uh, about, probably about 15 individuals rushing oh, forward. Oh man. Yeah rushing past, all armed with spears, making their way past you. And as you guys kind of stick your head out, you do notice another thing, particularly you, Arcanus. Everybody else does not see this, but you do. In the sky, you see something glittering, almost gem-like in nature. And as it gets kind of closer and closer, its form begins to realize. As an adult gold dragon sweeps above the magic district, scanning its head around, looking for any sign of dissonance. It flies past you, looking about its shadow casting over top of you. And you realize that the stakes have just been raised. And that is where we're going to take our break. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> As you've attracted the attention of a adult gold dragon. That's man, they got a not dragon. ideal. That's not fair. <laughs> um, you're I'm cheating. Go, yeah, I'm that's go, cheating, man. I'm gonna go feed my dog real fast. I'll be yeah, right yeah, yeah. I gotta feed my cat because that's how I figured we need to take a break as he yells. Awesome. I love the first thing that happens is I explode. <laughs> I'm gonna refill my water. I'll be right back. Well, I suppose it's not the Bosco halftime show. He's currently busy, probably shit talking us. So, how are people in chat doing today? Just gonna grab some water here, and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now, sadly, unlike Bosco, I don't have access to the Streamlab, so I can't read off bits and subs like he does. But I have it. Indeedly so. So it's the Monty Halftime Show. Oh, God, no. So how about local sports team, Monty? Oh, I love local sports team. I love when they do the thing and win the points. Yeah, they've totally won a lot lately. I think. That one team, they, they sure as heck beat that other team. And did you hear about that player and how he's on that new team? I can't believe they would trade him like a Pokemon. We're we talking about sport ball? We are. <laughs> yeah, I love when that guy gets traded. 
uh, mm -hmm. to that team and they use him in their uh, lineup. Yeah. Right. Do you do the fantasy sport game? I'm not particularly fantasy sports ball oriented. Um, but I have, I have I have friends I have friends who do it and they 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 enjoy it very much. Uh, we're apparently causing Bosco pain. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so drafting like a fantasy team, that's like drafting like Magic the Gathering, right? That's basically I wish. the yeah. I'd be a lot more interested then. <laughs> and this player has way more board control value. <laughs> but this player is direct damage. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read out some bits and subs here. We have... If I miss any, I do apologize, but thank you guys so much. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yuki Usagi, thank you so much for the tier one sub for three months. Uh, Citra Kite, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 24 months. Been two years? Dang. Krusty Stars, thank you so much for the tier one sub for five months. Major Kudo, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 19 months. Pentagon, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 14 months. 14 months, and my favorite show has almost come to an end. Stay tuned, though. Representative Joints, <laughs> thank you so much for the 50 bits. Dip and Bipples, thank you so much for 100 bits. Hi, Monty. Hi, Dip and Bipples. I love that name. <laughs> it's so fucking Dip and Bipples. Uh, King Kiwi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. How do you do, fellow humans? Explosion goes off, Yamcha <laughs> posing guards. We were doing pretty well until you showed up. <laughs> midnight, uh, Midnight, oh gosh, I lost my spot. Midnight, R.D. White, thank you so much for the tier one stuff for 24 months. Thank you so much. Uh, I keep losing my spot because people keep donating and it's confusing me. <laughs> uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for 100 bits. Hey, is that Detective Pikachu? I think that KG did voice Detective Pikachu, yes, actually. Yes, I, I did. I did in the 3DS yeah. game. In the 3DS game, I was him. Ooh. Um... And then Ryan Reynolds stole my job. <laughs> <laughs> Raw Sodium, thank you so much for the 100 bits. This is already going as chaotic as I had hoped. <laughs> Krabby is the great crab boar. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, hey, Monty, if you were going to build a character for Gateway, would it be a super mutant Mr. X? I don't know if I, what I would play if I were in Gateway. I would probably want to be like a human, though, honestly. Be like a doctor type. Okay. Uh, bu Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I don't like Zito anymore. Beanus has become part of my vocabulary. <laughs> Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, I think you might need some Irish luck. Happy St. Patrick's Day. X Willy Willy, thank you so much for the tier one sub. To Sportball Talk, excellent. Kiss My Tarask, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Nice. Bosco, if you start Good dissing name. the frog, that's going too far. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Man, it's almost over. What am I going to do on Wednesdays now? Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the 420 bits. So much chaos. The Percocizer, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Uh, I had to throw it out there since Monty said it and it fits the chaotic vibe. Episode titled Banana for Scale. <laughs> Hulksternator, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 12 months. 12 months and keep the memes flowing each episode. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I feel like I'm watching a session of Gmod. <laughs> Brave Fencer Masashiden, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Here's a thousand bits to support my favorite sports ball team. All the field goals they touched down during the penalty kick. Hashtag praise Bosco. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Go, sports Gordon. team. Ropes. We can use these to help me, Gordon. <laughs> so good, dude. By the way, I want to apologize because I didn't know that the spell would just last for eight hours. I thought that human disguise would wear off after a while, so I'm just in this doing this Bane voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's great. Great. no, commit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what you I know. I just you know, gotta man. commit now. I am so this, sorry. But at the same time, human. not. This is my human voice. This is my you human voice. You can drop it if you want to. I mean, that's No, no, no. Construct 76 has to really explore humanity. What does it mean to be human? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
brought to you in part by Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia that anyone can anyone edit. Can, that anyone can edit. Ooh. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Oh, there's the other gold dragon. Yep. <laughs> oh, we found him. Yep. There Tyler Katz, Monty. Good, fat, but getting <laughs> actually thinner. Hob That's has good. lost a lot of weight, so. That's good. Yeah, he's actually got a vet appointment next week, I think. Mm -hmm. So, be curious to see. We He's significantly smaller in, like, existing, but he is the same weight. Probably because he built muscle mass, because he actually, mm. like, runs around now and, like, will get goblin he's, going. Because he's pushing plates. He's getting yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's getting He's getting pretty swole. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's he's really funny now, because he'll actually, like, run up cat towers and stuff, but, like, he's not graceful, and he's, like, bounced. Like, he's fallen mm. off of a cat tower, bounced on it, and then fell on the ground. He's totally fine, but, like, it was mm. just very, very <laughs> uh, not graceful at all. I'm going to climb the tower! <laughs> I'm going to have a drink. He's doing super good. The cats are pretty like like sleepy lately because it's been like kind of cold still, um, so they tend to be a little bit more like potatoy around this time of year. But they'll probably well, start being a little bit more energetic, energetic, you know, come the summer, spring and summer. So yeah, no. Yeah, we just got Liara a little dinosaur costume or like Amazing. dinosaur outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get Santa photos, but because of COVID, I didn't. I really wanted to take them in and get Santa photos with my cats. We have a really good Santa photo with uh, our bearded dragon. I wish I could find it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, That's they were really the cool to take a picture with with her. Yeah, I, I uh, pet store I used to work at. They they always do it every year. It's like a charity thing where you can go mm -hmm. in and bring your pet in and get a picture with Santa. And they're booked. They're like they're fully booked every yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like. Oh, I really just want to do it because I want to send that to the the SPCA, which is where I got Hob from, and be like, "Look, Aww. here he is with Santa," because I like sending them updates. Because uh, I, did I tell you about how I got Hob? No. Oh. So he was he was a rescue. He actually was at oh. a yeah, like at, at an SPCA about probably a day's drive from where I live. Um. Someone surrendered him, said he hates everything, but he actually doesn't. He's a huge, he's a huge suck. Uh, so I called them and I was like, hey, you know, I, I'm looking for another Sphinx cat for Goblin because she, she very much wanted to play a lot. And I'm mm -hmm. like, and I was playing with her, but it was clearly like she wanted another cat to play with, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I called them and I'm like, hey, you know, I, I really want a companion for my cat, but it says here he doesn't like other cats. I just want to see if that's something that could be, you know, manageable or if it's really bad, right? Um, mm -hmm. or if they'd even consider if, if I already had a cat. And they're like, oh, no, the people who dropped him off lied. He loves everything. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Ah. Uh, and so I I put an application, and, you know, I already had Goblin. I already had the experience, and I also, like, work from home, obviously. And they called me back immediately and were like, hey, can you come here and meet this cat? And I'm like, I don't have a car. So mm -hmm. my friend Draco, who is amazing, um, they were like, I'll drive you they made a day trip out of it. We made a whole field trip out of it where we went and I met him and he was, he was, he's huge. Like he's twice goblin size just through like body, like bone structure alone. He's massive. Um, and I took him home. It was $150 to adopt him, which if you know, Sphinx cats is a, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. But um, he was overweight, obviously. So he needed to be on a very specific diet and he needs to be exercised. He was also missing some teeth. So I had mm. to check on that as well. How old was he? Uh, he's three. He? He's mm -hmm. three now. Yeah, so he's young, too. He was a year older than Goblin. Uh, what's crazy is when I was filling out the adoption paperwork, apparently they had been getting calls from Russia and uh, New York, people wanting him in New York. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, wow. and they were like, they were, they were like, we're kind of freaking out a little bit because it's like <laughs> scary that people are like asking for him, like, you know, in, in all of Canada, too. Ontario was also calling for him as well. And so they were like, the fact that you live nearby, like, you know, I'm a day's trip away. And also I already have another cat. And like, clearly I just want another companion. They were like, we, we trust you not to resell the cat. Yeah. Right. Because I think that was what their concern was, is that whoever was going to adopt him would just sell him for, you know, a higher price. Right. But I just, I wanted a chunky boy and I have him. And he's. You got he's your a, chunky he's, boy. 
he's he's very dirty right now. Is <laughs> he gets he gets like I don't know if your cat gets the same thing, Octa, but he gets like pit sweat that like congeals and becomes yeah. gross. No, he's she... really. Oh, that's uh, hot. That's hot. Liara, uh, Liara just gets like she just stains all of her clothing, so we have to wash yeah. it constantly. Goblin, they both do that. Hob's really bad because he can't clean because he's still he's still fat. Unfortunately, it's gonna take some time for him to really slim down. But mm -hmm. yeah, he's gross. He's he's a he's a grease ball. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's well, he's on problem. the journey. It's, it's a journey. You yeah, know, yeah, it takes yeah. time. Greasy oh. journey. He's, a greasy he's doing, journey. Dirty journey. He's he's doing great. Like seeing him actually like run around and like you know. When I first got him, he was just like, I don't want to move. Like, I don't want to do anything. And now, like, it's been almost a year, and he's, like, running around. He's actively, like, jumping up to get stuff. He's running all over the, the cat towers and playing with Goblin. It's a fantastic change. It's really, nice. really nice. I'll read the last few bits here, and if everybody's here, yeah. are we waiting on anybody? Yeah. I'm here. Mick, are you here? I am. He is. All right. I'm just going to read out these last few bits, and we'll get right back into this. Um, <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Do we have Arkolf? Yeah, yep, Arkolf's here. I'm here. Ah, excellent. Game and anime, thank you so much for the tier one sub for two months in a row. Six months. Congratulations. King Night Owl, thank you so much for 100 bits. Possible episode title, Chaos Theory. We'll see how this one goes. Zenlita with the 200 bits. Why am I not surprised that Arkolf is the first one to cause chaos? Well done, you madman. Unintentional. King, <laughs> King Kiwi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, episode title, Zenrio Square. Bubba Bob, thank you so much for 100 bits. Is Hob's belly still slappable? Yeah, it's really cute. He like I don't like hit him, but like if you pat his belly, it makes like, because it's my whole hand, right? It makes a slap noise. It's very cute. <laughs> he is, yes. He is still, he is still like tappable. He's very, very cute in that oh. way. Yankee Doodle, he gives me a look like, hmm. He doesn't really care. <laughs> Yankee Doodle, thank you so much for the 550 bits. Thank you so much. Or 5,500, uh, 5,500 bits. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a disappearing for the next two months. This will be the final episode of my favorite D&D &D group for the last four plus, uh, four to five-ish years. I want to drop the last bits y'all, and th thanks for the joy the answers has given me. Fair winds and following seas. Thank you so much, Yankee Doodle. Good luck Aww. with work. They hope to see you back here with maybe something you never know. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Our guys running like they just got found in prop hunt. Uh, Night Owl, thank you so much for 100 bits. Wanted to say congrats to Octo for his casting in Lost Judgment. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, brave, yeah. Brave Fencer Musa Sheedan, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. He's another 1,000 bits just because of how great y'all are. I'm happy to be able to catch these lies only after being able to catch them in YouTube. I am Spite, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Monty's cat's built like Beerus and Champa. Yeah. I guess there's like a there's like Beerus who's like the cat and there's like another one uh, named Champa. I don't watch Dragon Ball, I'm sorry. Or I watch, don't, know, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z at least. Beerus is the skinny sphinx cat. Champa, his brother, is the telly one. Gotcha. Dip and Bimble, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Well. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> Hi, Monty. Hi. Uh, as you the Dark Witch, thank you for that one bit. And on de, on de toi. <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you for the one, two, three bits. Episode title, The Wind, The Wild Ones. All right, with that, let's get back into it. Also, you said Eos gave us fire resistance. How long does that yeah. last? Permanently, because that was the first damage type you took. Oh. Wow. I Praise might use that Eos. For... Yeah. I so might use a... that for nefarious purposes later. That's fine. You are not immune to fire, you're just resistant. Uh, right. As long as you're within 30 feet of Eos, <laughs> to keep that in mind. The, 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 okay. Basically, she can help protect you a little bit. Let's see. Hey, Kakudori. <laughs> this work? <clears throat> uh, that's good creeping around music. I'll, I'll allow that to stay. All right. Continuing? We are continuing. Okay. So, um, as okay. the gold dragon coasts over and disappears for a brief moment, what do you guys do? Well, there's good news. That the path ahead now has 15 less soldiers waiting for us. There is also bad news. There's a okay. golden dragon that we've alerted its attention. Yeah. Have we alerted it's it's attention, oh. by the way, or it, did, did it see us, or did it just fly over by? Overhead? It kind of coasted overhead, heading towards the direction where the guards were going. Okay. I do believe if it had seen us, it would. 
it, it would have made its presence known. Sorry, dude, Arcanus is not laughing. Um, yeah. <laughs> not, even, not even out of like nervousness or, or irony. It's just, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess we should consider ourselves lucky then that it didn't notice us. But we got to get out of here. I think the longer we stay in the city, the worse things are going to get. Yes, I agree. agreed. We should move forward. Let us make haste. But not with actual haste. That makes us slow afterwards. Yeah, plus, um, you know, you get all, like, tired. And plus takes, you know, a lot of energy to cut. Anyway, let's go. When we look down the way that the soldiers came up from... Can we see if there's, like, still a small contingency or a large contingency or anything down the way they came from? At this time, you don't see anything, but it is an open road. It is a rather well-kept cobblestone road uh, flanked by a very myriad of closed magic shops or rather, you know, like, a familiar shop or a wand shop or a, you know, varying different stores that are currently closed since, up. Since this place does get usual, like, uh, usually it gets a good amount of foot traffic. Are there any wagons nearby that, that looks like they would be, uh, they would belong to, like, a magic shop that might be uh, normally in use traveling up and down these streets where we can just sort of, like, you know, like, disguise ourselves mm -hmm. as, like, you know, part of the economy, local economy, and just move through? There are two, actually. Um, you see there is a cart, a mm -hmm. small cart, and then there is a uh, probably a horse-drawn, probably two horses, horse-drawn carriage that is kind of parked in one of the alleyways, uh, probably about 60 feet off from your current position at the moment. When I was a tiny construct, I used to see these carts go up and down these streets all the time. Perhaps we could waylay one. My only concern is that there is no traffic here, which I assume is intentional. Either they've vacated this area, or, worse, they've taken care of them. I am concerned that if we are in public, it, we would stand out. However, we could do that. Or, is there a way for you, Construct, to map out any alleyways that could help us traverse further in this direction without being in the street directly? Uh, I start to, uh, Construct starts to, you know, the map quest, the press the digitation thing, um, of the, of every alleyway surrounding here, because I, I figured this is the area I know best. You do. Yeah. Um, alleyways are a little less known, uh, whether they lead to dead ends or they lead to other roads, mm -hmm. but you do know the main roads. The current road that you are on, um, basically, if you just take a direct path, it's really out in the open, but it'll lead immediately to the lower district. Mm -hmm. um, alternatively, you could turn off hopefully either an alleyway or another road and take kind of a side path, which will also lead to the middle district or the the lower district, but to a less populated area. D does does uh, Construct seventy six know of one off the top of his head that they could take? Where you are currently, you'd have to go down the current road in the open for a little bit, then turn off. So if I'm you facing mm -hmm. for, facing basically um, westward. Uh, you would probably want to turn left, and then you're going to want to probably turn right into a smaller road that would lead okay. you down. Now, if you All want right. to take the alleyway, you'll have to make survival checks because, again, alleyways are not usually used beyond, you know, to get in and out of the shops from behind or, mm -hmm. you know, from the side. So. All right. I, I map quest all that information out, and I turn to them and be like, and those are our options. Yes. What do we agree on? What are you comfortable with? Oh, are you asking uh, Construct 76 or are you asking the group? I'm asking the group. Hmm. What say you, O oh Carrier of the Crystal? Looking to Zenrio. Oh. <sighs> okay. Actually, what does Eos suggest? Yeah, hey, um. Eos, wh what do you think? He like kind of like I've never taps the been crystal. There. I've never. Uh, I don't know. I just. Huh. She does totally sound like her head's in a toilet. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah. She had a little. Too much, <laughs> yeah, she drank too much magic. That poison is just not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, okay. So once again, it's always it's always the path of least resistance, right? Like you always gotta go the way that we're going to encounter the least amount of people and the least amount of dudes trying to stop us from getting out of here. 
In which case, I suggest going down the road and turning into this alley. Okay. Yes. I mean, yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. That there seems is like something... the best possible plan. There is something to be said for the path less traveled, though. I would assume the alley is actually the path less traveled. Unless they're searching for ne'er do wells but we'll find out. Hmm. Executive decision. We're going in the alley. Alley. So alley first, then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys stay in the alley. You guys begin to move. I would need a survival check from Construct 76 to figure out where to go. All right. Let's load out that load out that modem. Yeah. Let's go. Can, Don't let us trying, down, dude. We're, we're we Google to, mapping in the desert. We need. Are it. we trying to find a direction in particular, or? Oh, I think we're heading to get through. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mm -hmm. would my um would the orb of direction give him advantage at all? No, it would not help ah. in this. Knowing knowing your direction, okay. it's less of like knowing which way to go. It's like how to get there. So what not is the best? Not bad. Yeah. All right. As you guys kind of sneak behind, Got it. as you sneak behind one of the alleyways, you eventually reach the end that's like a fence, but then Construct uh, 76, you you recall um, seeing some kids run through here, and you're able to lift a, lift up the wood so you guys can sneak through unabated. Oh, yes. My old stomping grounds. As you make your way... As you make your way through between buildings and kind of intentionally avoiding the main road... Uh, you make your way up to the side of one of the magic shops, and you can see the door. <coughs> Currently swayed open at the moment. Uh, can we, can he do like a perception check to see if there was any damage to the door, or if there was any blood around the door, or, or you know, any kind of... Like something that would be an investigation. Right. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that. no worries. <laughs> oh <laughs> Arcana says you walk up and you look something happened here but you don't know what <laughs> Truly, oh one it will be a mystery yeah I, I'm like I'm, I'm saying that but I'm facing the opposite direction of the door <laughs> <laughs> something happened here <laughs> uh, I'm Ar looking Arcanus. at a wall <laughs> yeah uh, Arcanus the door's over there oh yes Ah, this is a door. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the space outside of the school or our training. Hmm. Okay. Um, so... Uh, I don't know. Do we want to look inside? I mean, do we have to get through this building somehow to continue forward, or can we, um... Uh, going uh, forward would be the main road, or you could try and cut through this building if you wish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably try to cut through this building. I say a little peek is in order. Yeah, plus you never know. There could be someone inside who might help us. Or there <laughs> might be stuff we could use. Yeah, okay, well, we got to pay for it. Not if they're not here. No, that's true. Okay, anyway. Either way, it is a logical choice not being in the street. So I agree. Well, I'll head inside. Zenriel will head inside. Alcinian will follow. All right, as you guys enter inside, there is a bit of a smell in here. It's uh, pungent, but not unpleasant. It's almost like if someone like was boiling Kool-Aid is the best way I could describe it. Uh, like a convention. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you enter inside, um, notably, this backspace has, you know, a broom, a mop, um, and you notice there's a lot of boot prints, uh, kind of seeming traffic kind of around here as well. Um, mm. anybody else who would like to can roll an investigation check, <laughs> Thomas, uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Your time is done. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, your time as a detective has, uh, <laughs> has come to a sad end. Well, isn't bad. Well. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, looking around, these are definitely human size. Um, and they definitely seem to be like um armor ish. Like this is not like your standard boot. This is like a kind of greaves boot situation based off mm -hmm. of the weight, the pressure mm -hmm. into it. It looks like there's been a lot of traffic through here. 
And as you kind of open the door that leads into the, the main area of the building, it immediately cracks open to almost like a bar-like location uh, with a wall backed with shelves. Uh, and you can see currently dripping is a upturned uh, vial. And you can see that this is a potion shop or once was. Um, the front cabinets that kind of make up the sort of bar section have been shattered and broken. Uh, and there's like sort of velvety cushion looking um, displays and everything's missing. Uh, on the back of the wall, you see glass cabinets as well have been shattered. Um, and what hasn't been spilled seems to have been taken uh, as it seems that this shop has been ransacked quite thoroughly. Well, clearly the clergy beat us to the punch on this one. Wait, what do you mean beat us to the punch? They were you planning have on... ransacked this place entirely. And you were planning on ransacking it as well? No, I was planning on looking for provisions that would help us. Oh. So there's right. like... there's like Which nothing. is a nice way of saying ransacking, yes. <laughs> so there's, there's like nothing of use in here at all that's just like completely been totally looted. This is, That's what you can see immediately as you guys enter into the space. Okay. That's when you open the door and you peer and that's what you see. Sure. Okay. As you enter in, your feet hit glass. It kind of crunches underfoot as you make your way to the main uh, area. Across um, from the shop itself is... Oh, my flip-flops. Got glass in them. Gross. <laughs> Across the way, you see uh, what appears to be a two large, almost steel, like, metal vats. Um, they're not massive. They're not like beer vats, but they're, they're you know, about the size of you, Zenrio. Mm -hmm. um, currently kind of on the wall. Uh, mm -hmm. Next to that, you see what appears to be a cauldron and like an entire alchemist set uh, mm -hmm. that seems to be up. Uh, and then immediately as you're kind of exiting out to your... Um... Sorry, I was getting the direction. So you guys had entered inside, and as mm -hmm. you kind of proceeded into this room, to your right, you see the storefront. Uh, and the door in the front is just, there's a giant hole in it where a uh, doorknob used to be, but it is currently closed somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no bodies or anything. Uh, as you look around, um, I would say with the 12 investigation, there is blood on the ground, but there is no bodies. Well, this isn't pleasant. Yes, whatever happened here seems to have been quite the event. Yeah, I hope whoever shot this is, is okay. I have doubts that anyone is okay in this situation. That said, it doesn't appear to be that there's anything here that we can use. Shall we proceed? Yes, I agree. Now let's get out of here. All right. As you guys approach the door, boom, boom, on the ground, landing on all fours, the gold dragon. You just see its chest and its legs through the window. What do you guys do? Close the door. No, don't do it. Hide. <laughs> Stealth yeah, checks, hi. everybody. Yeah. Just drop. Stop dropping. Roll stealth checks. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. I'm checking something. I'm going to Tides of Chaos Construct. Okay, you have advantage. And I'll roll my own stealth check. Which is a soft 20. Okay. Okay. Roll so one more time. Yep, let's see. To advantage. Uh, let's see, here we go. Stealth with advantage roll. Any types of chaos somebody else? Uh, you can if you want to. Oh, cool. Really useful. It's worded it's strangely, but with the way Monty runs it, it's allowed yeah, on other it's, people. Yeah, it's yeah. probably up for interpretation. It's fun. I like it. It's more fun. Yeah, it's it. yeah, it's more enjoyable. The rule of okay, cool, as they say. Okay, Lucky 13. 13. Okay. Our call for rolls you 100. <laughs> Oh boy. Cast another fireball. Oh, <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> you got oh, oh, oh. 69. Guys. That's actually really nice. 
Each creature within 30 feet of you becomes invisible for the next minute. Wow. Oh. Does that so include we can't me? The dragon? That includes all of you. The dragon is not affected by this. You okay. guys all immediately turn invisible, which renders all of your checks invalid, and you all would have failed. <laughs> the dragon's head leers down as you all <laughs> turn invisible. <laughs> There's no way. There's I wow. <laughs> So we just march confidently uh, past the dragon towards our location, right? Uh, I say wait till it moves because it's blocking yeah. the door. Yeah. <laughs> I smell you. And it <laughs> takes off into the air and disappears. You don't smell us well enough, I whisper. <laughs> he whispers. <laughs> Z Z Zenrio looks around, obviously, uh, obviously whispering and saying, do you think? Do you think they were talking to us? <laughs> um, I I grab a piece of debris, and wave it around. Um, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I can't see any of you, but I I'm right here. Wait, was that you? I thought you did that. No, no, that wasn't me. Was that he? He like looks to point where where. Construct 76 was, but realizes he doesn't actually know where he was standing and kind of, well, he also realizes that nobody can see him pointing. Was that, um, I thought, mm, who Construct was that? Construct 76 uh, pressed the digitations like an arrow, like the way they should be going. <laughs> mm -hmm. The green as arrow. You, as you press the digitation, all of you become visible. Oh. It only lasted for a minute. Oh. Hey. I was I was gonna press the digitation of Green Sims a gem above my head. Valsinian's <laughs> <laughs> just doing the shifty eyes. Um. Okay. Well, whoever that was, good job. <laughs> yes. If there's a way to do all that again, please. All do. the ones to get. I'm that getting really dumb nice. and lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so wait, are we? We're heading through this building, right? We're not going down the main road. Plus, that dragon's right out there. Let's go. All right, you guys aren't going to head through the front door. Well, I thought we were going to head through the front door because okay. the, the dragon's dragon out the off, right? Yeah, the well, yeah, the, the dragon, dragon took off. It went <laughs> and flew yeah. off somewhere. You're not sure but where. But it's yeah. still right, like not too far away. So I feel well, I'll do this character. Okay, I well, feel like... I would say that if if it were to believe that there was a possible threat and it left then there's no reason to believe it would stick around. It left because it doesn't sense that we're here. But she said, well, they said they smelled something. Were they talking about us? I don't think I smell. He we could have been covered head. by the smell of the broken spells around us. I don't oh, know, but it did that's, leave. That's true. Otherwise, okay. it could have taken us out. Uh, true. Okay. All right. I'll trust you on this one. Yes, and don't worry. You have a very unique mask. Oh, thank you. Some people say that I smell fishy, but I think they just mean that I'm suspicious. No, you smell fishy. Oh, really? Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. Oh. Okay. It well, wasn't I'll take an insult either. It was okay. just an objective truth. Okay. Well, then I don't feel as bad. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, we head out. Who is going out first? Uh, I'll go out first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Zenria, roll a perception check for me. Okay. As you make your way out, you see that there is another shop across the way. Uh, there's also kind of to the left of that another alleyway, and to the right of that uh, appears to be blocked off by a stack of crates. Mm. Was this the, was this the alleyway we were going to head down? Uh, it is. So to the okay. right actually is the road that heads down as well. Okay. Um. So we'd have to move the crates in order to say, go down the alleyway. Uh, you'd have to probably make a check to climb up or find a way to move them, yeah. Is my telekinesis still active? Has it been more than 10 minutes? Uh, it has been at this point, Damn yes, it. Because you guys kind of laid low for a while when the guards ran by, essentially. Right, How sense. much can we move with telekinesis? A lot. It's a like a lot. thousand pounds. Well, if you need telekinetic powers, I, I could assist you. Oh, do it, man. Move these things out of the way. All right, we go. Uh, I mean, we need to approach them, or I can do it from a distance as well. It's you can do it from pretty, a distance with telekinesis. Far. Yeah, six. Sweet. Feet. Oh yeah, sixty feet. All right, telekinesis. It is. All right. Moving, you, moving crates. 
As you flex your hand, go ahead and roll your 20 for your magic. You got it. Okay. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, you flex you. your hand, and almost as if a gr giant hand is grabbing crates, you just gently hover them over to the side, opening up the path. Okay. What um, can we see? As you open up the path, go ahead and roll a perception check. Got it. Please don't roll a one. Three ones today. All right, there we go. <laughs> those are rookie oh, numbers. That's, yeah. that's, pretty good. <laughs> that's numbers. really good. As you push aside the crates and kind of like, I imagine you guys are kind of like stealthing forward, like, you know, Metal Gear Solid side, kind of like you know, sneaking up, hiding behind parts of buildings and sneaking up a little bit more and hiding. Uh, Arcanus, you kind of lean your back against all the crates you've kind of stacked out of the way and kind of look over. You can see currently on top of what appears to be um, a wizard sort of tower building, you see the dragon currently leering around. Its back is facing you guys as it's looking seemingly westward, oh. kind of peering around. But you can see it. It's within eye shot. And it's about probably, uh, let me say probably about 200 or so feet away. Actually, more like 100, 175 maybe. Fair distance away, but it is actively searching. So the golden dragon that, um, well, almost came upon us. Uh, apparently we've come upon it. Uh, it seems to be ahead in the path on top of a tower. So here's a dumb idea. Okay. Do we I'm have listening. any, do any of us have any really, really long, long range spells? Because I'm thinking, what if we shot something in another direction as a distraction and then ran? Oh, classic misdirection. Um. Oh, it's funny you should say that. Um, I have, I only say funny because you all say funny. I, I don't actually think it's funny at all. Uh, there is the possibility I could open a dimension door 500 feet away uh, as a range. I could bring you, Val, and perhaps you could distract it. Or... Any ideas? Isn't that doorway one way? It is, yes. So, uh, perhaps if you had the ability... I could just shove you through the door. And then if you had the ability to, I don't know, disappear or... Send yourself into another dimension? I don't know. I, I haven't been following your training that much. Well... I love these. No bad ideas. Um, we're just spitballing, brainstorming. Uh, what if we don't provoke it and just continue trying to sneak around? Oh, sorry. How, when, when we say it's looking west, how much closer are we to an exit of the city? You can see the wall, but it is in between oh, you and the dra the dragon is in between it yeah you and that wall mm -hmm. you know that each section is gated off essentially mm -hmm. just to prevent the average person from accessing uh All right. specific things okay what part of the ward are we in are we towards that western wall or could we head south then go back through the west in the yeah are we still uh, in the crafting Earth district model? you could go south towards the temple district if you wanted to I would say the okay. western wall is closer, but the southern wall doesn't have a dragon in the way. If if we're still in the Arcana District, do, do I have any sort of home field knowledge that could help us? Either some sort of area where we could hide from the dragon or some sort of um, distraction I can think of from my time having been born here? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, roll, roll a survival check with advantage, I'll say. Okay. I want to sneak the spit smidge with more sneaky, is it? I tried to choose advantage, but it didn't let me do it. <laughs> no dreams for you. No. <laughs> dreams die here. That's right. Um, that was a five, if you'll let me roll one more time. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Modem, modem, modem. I'm currently <laughs> thinking of something. I'll be right with you. 
You just got the freaking beach ball spinning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good oh, death God. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Another this... five. Wow. This actually makes sense because this area has been developed since you were made. There's more ah, things. There's sense. new buildings. You're getting a little confused. Mm. Unfortunately, you don't know. Gentrification has come to the Lord <laughs> at last. Wait a moment. Is that cart with the horse still nearby? There is no horses, but you do see some carts. I thought you mentioned there was a cart with two horses. It was meant for two horses to be, ah. to be tacked to it, yeah. There isn't two horses. However, there could be two horses. Though, actually, I'm not sure if we could pull the cart. My oh, meaning I... being, we could make ourselves appear as horses. However, I'm not sure if we'd be able to actually pull the cart. Well, uh, there's Contract something else. 76 should be able to do it, right? He's I mean, pretty big. Here's the thing we could actually become horses. Well, no, what I was thinking was if there were horses, we could spook them and make them run off in a different direction to distract the dragon. Oh. What kind of range uh, does your telekinesis have? Um, it's 60 feet. That is not enough. But I also have seeming as well. Just in case we all want to be horses. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All want to turn into barn animals, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Though we'd be like the slowest horses ever, because we'd be running at like our normal pace, right? I don't think seeming lets you become a different creature type, though. I'm oh, really okay. Certain. That I think only it has to be the same body type. Yeah, so uh, it has uh, to okay. be be human. Yeah. What What if it was two of, of us humanoids touching each other like a horse, <laughs> and then okay, never mind. Like as much costume. as I would love to say yes, I'm gonna have <laughs> to say no. <laughs> All right, word understood. Um, well, you could use seeming to turn us into foreign clergymen. We've seen enough guards to know what they generally look like. This is true. The dragon wouldn't true. pay much mind to clergymen. Unless it has some kind of ability to see through our magic. If it did, it would have seen through that invisibility. You're right. Are we in agreement? Shall we yes, become, become clergymen? clergymen. Um, one thing, though. You may want to be the clergyman. I am far too small. Let me remain the starveling child. It will look more realistic. Yes. There's no one my size in the clergy. Yes. What if we, like, disguise you as, like, a vase or something? And one of us carries you. Like a baby. Yeah! <laughs> you could be the vase baby. Yeah, a vase baby! <laughs> We could swaddle you. Yes. Yeah, we could be like, if anybody questions us, we could be like, yo, we found this baby. I don't know what's up with it. We're going to no, no, take no. it. It's a vase. It's a vase. It's a vase. If you have we a found... baby, that could be suspicious. Yeah, we'll, we'll make you look like a vase. And then we'll be like, we found this vase. We're going to take it to the boss man. Because he might like it. It's like a gift. Oh, <laughs> by the gods. First a crappling hook, now a vase. <laughs> Sure, I'm for it. Why the hell's not? All right. So again, seeming will not let you turn into a vase, but you can be turned into a baby. I'll allow that because that is oh really okay. Really annoying. All right. <laughs> so okay, and we but we could wrap them up. Yeah, you can. We, yeah, we could just cover like yeah, like a little mummy baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Then seeming it is. All right. We are soldiers is... carrying a mummified baby. <laughs> okay. Can we make it into like a dragonborn baby? Maybe we can play at it like the gold dragon's heartstrings. It's like, ah, uh, come on, like fellow <laughs> yes. dragon. Okay. So gold dragon. I just dragon look like a kobold. <laughs> and a gold, yeah, gold dragonborn baby. Yes, I believe compassion is an emotion that other creatures feel. Perhaps this is a very effective disguise. But just in case, let's wrap it so it doesn't draw attention if people are on the ground. Yeah, good idea. Yes, let us emotionally manipulate this dragon. <laughs> Google it will have Gaga. very big googly eyes. So that when it looks at it, it'll fall in love like puss in boots. Okay. Yeah, it's got the, yeah. 
<laughs> all right. What do the rest of you guys look like? Well, Velsidian looks like an infant. Should we all uh, just look like dragon boar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going as an Orin clergyman, just in case. Nothing okay. here but us dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying a baby. <laughs> so it's worth noting the clergymen are all human. Yes. <laughs> or elves. They're either they're either sun elves or humans. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. oh, do we know from just like their general general reputation which ones do people not f with so if we're a bunch of elves do the humans general or is it just equal footing like equal like status aos kind of pipes up and she goes uh if you want a higher status the ones with better armor are the ones to go with now city what did you do to me <laughs> it wasn't my fault i'm sorry i, I mean i'm goo goo gaga <laughs> Where? Eos has spoken. I go, I mean, I'm going to dress myself up as definitely, if I've seen a better set of armor, like when we saw like the soldiers, like we've seen foot soldiers, but if we saw anybody had, yeah. that seemed, yeah, throughout our time there or during this mission. I'm, so I'm gonna, yeah. there are about four tiers that you can base this off of. You have your, your, your spear wielders, which are your general guards. They are like the footmen of the Orin clergy. You would have seen them through the scrying. Um, above that would be those guards you just killed. Um, they're kind of more like hardened, but they're not, you know, they're not army based. They're more of like a private guard sort of situation. Uh, above that would be your paladins with their full plate mail. Uh, and then above that are winged paladins, where they have sort of this uh, angel wing motif on the back of their armor meant to replicate uh, celestials. Those are those are like number one mucho people. They are kind of the commanding officers of the army, more like a general, if cool. anything. Uh, on top of that, there is one more little side unit, which would be the sorcerers that they have in their employ. You would know about this. Eos would have mentioned it. Um, there are red draconic sorcerers who also seem to be working in tandem with the army as well. Okay. They're, they're above the army or they're just a different tier. They're like a side tier. So they're like, okay. they're kind of separate, but they're, they're part of the army, but because they're very specialized, they don't really, they don't fit in the hierarchy. They just exist. Oh, that sounds like, great. Yeah, no, that sounds guys ourselves as the path dragon people. That's <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, well, I'm going to go with the sorcerers just because I feel like if we, if we <clears throat> if we were to go too high in the ranks, we might draw attention. Though, from a distance, no one would approach us, or wouldn't dare to, I would hope. But if we go with the sorcerers, a, a side unit, perhaps they are a little bit more reclusive and um, draw less attention. And it would also make sense if we cast spells. That's right. I mean, blah. No one would be surprised if we... Perhaps cast a spell. I love it. Genius. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right. You guys all transform with the exception of Valsinian, who turns into a gold dragonborn baby. Um, <laughs> you all are wearing kind of regal white and yellow robes with a sun motif. Um, notably, you're human, however you want to look as a human, but you have like draconic scales on the side of your face. Excellent. Uh, all right, sweet. You guys are currently completely decked out in your disguises. None so, will be the wiser. What's the story you're going to tell people exactly? Did, did you just find me on the street? Did you steal me from my parents? Did you make me an orphan? I believe saying less is more in this situation. If anyone happens to ask us, especially of a lower tier, I would assume that we would just, I don't know, um, not talk to them, uh, appear mysterious, uh, whatever, uh, you know, spooks the um, humans or elves. <laughs> you just gave me an idea. I'll keep that one in the back pocket for now. Excellent. Okay. Now, are you guys heading westward? I, I guess we're, yeah, are we, are we to head towards the dragon? <laughs> Are we to head towards the dragon? 
Well, it is westward, and that's where our destination is, so that's yes. May as, well, may as well try it. Okay. You guys make your way towards the west wall. Notably, there are now people, but they're not good people. They are Orin clergy members. Um, you notice currently there appears to be one of the shops is being used as a sort of like supply area. And you can see currently individuals walking up and collecting crates of potions right now, as you guys are kind of walking past, um, a few foot soldiers with spears kind of run past. And is there any check involved with seeming or you just appear as the creature? Um, creature can use its action to inspect no, the target really and make an intelligent investigation check against your spell save DC. If it succeeds, it becomes aware that the target is disguised. Okay. But that would only be if we were suspicious, I guess. Um, also, who's carrying the baby? Yeah, who's carrying the baby? <laughs> I can uh, I can carry the baby if you want. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Perfect. The giant. Uh, the oh, giant God baby. help if the construct gets maternal instincts. God help <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, notably, there is kind of a group of about five... Uh, spear wielding foot soldiers currently who are making their way towards a similar location where the, the explosion went off. And as they kind of pass by, one kind of narrows his eyes towards you, and then another one kind of like, keep moving! And he's like, oh, and he keeps running. Um, there's quite a bit of idling here. You see um, a paladin currently lambasting a platoon of uh, guards and then pointing towards the north, and they kind of skitter off that way. And as he turns and he looks... He gives you guys a bit of a wave and like a salute as you guys kind of make your way past. Mimic the salute as best we can, <laughs> as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you hear uh, uh, a Construct 76 new cho chosen voice for the skin. <laughs> oh, great. Let's hear it. <laughs> well, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, he just walks by the seven foot guy. <laughs> the paladin kind of leans as you go and kind of. Hmm. And then turns back to his business. Just out of uh, it's a it's DC fifteen. Okay, good. Well, um, that guy seems swell. <laughs> oh boy! Is there a way for me to do like a like a just a like a check just without turning my head, just for peripheral vision to see if the dragon's even glancing in our direction? Like, go for it. Yeah, roll a perception check. Very easy DC for this because it's out in the open, very clearly. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be 22. Very nice. Oh, nice. The dragon is now facing towards you at this point and is kind of scanning over the horizon. And right. notably, natural. notably, yeah. you, your, heart, your heart skips a beat as the dragon's wings and it and heads further westward into the lower district. Oh. Oh, good thing we didn't have to use that baby tactic. <laughs> well, we have yet to find out. Yeah, it might still come in handy. We should I keep believe, going, though. I do Wah. believe you're, you're going to be a baby dragon for quite some time. Baby dragon! <laughs> you had to. You had to, Octo. I had to. I'm sorry. I, I heard it, and I had to say it. <laughs> it's like Two guards Pav look up. Baby <laughs> dragon? <laughs> what? Pavlovian response. <laughs> you are a um, great duelist. <laughs> <laughs> With a third-rate deck. Um, as you guys continue on forward, you see now currently a what appears to be a wizard, um, definitely not Orin clergy, currently oh, okay. being Good. arrested. Um, you note that they're being manacled, like there's they're putting manacles on this individual. Um, it appears to be a kind of middle-aged woman, um, dark complexion, just this big, like billowing uh brown kind of auburny hair. Um, you see them currently, like, there's about a group of about probably 10 guards currently going inside of what appears to be a magic shop and just, like, you just hear smashing and you see them bringing out things. Notably, there is a paladin next to her and is currently examining what looks to be a very nice-looking sword, um, currently kind of taking it and admiring it. And you can see the on his face, like, the, hmm, should I keep this? Like, I won't be the one who gets in trouble. As you guys kind of continue past, uh, assuming there's something else to be done. Uh, when we see do. that, if I can whisper without drawing attention to Zenryu, just, I understand you are compassionate, but do not, do not intervene. Okay, wait, intervene with what? Never mind. 
Okay. Monty. As you guys. Mm -hmm. How many did you say there were in total? Uh, ten guards and one paladin. Okay, that's within my range. Okay, all right. I am going to spend a sorcery point to subtle spell, so there's no verbal, no somatic yeah. components. Yeah. Oh, okay. On all of those fuckers. I'm going to use mass suggestion and tell them to drop what they're doing and return to their superiors and leave the woman unaccosted. Okay, let me grab my paladin stuff. That's... DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw? Yes. That's a high DC. That is also my only six level slot. That is going to be 14 for the paladin, which I believe is a failure. It is. And the guards get a buff because they're within range of the paladin. Uh, terrible. I'm rolling like garbage today, dude. Uh, that is going to be a flat 12. Yeah, 12. Jesus Christ. You watch, as you guys are walking by, you watch as the paladin just drops the sword, immediately turns and leaves. And the other, like, guards kind of stop what they're doing. One is about to smash, like, what looks to be another one of those cases inside and just drops the spear and just turn around. They all just walk off. And the woman there who's manacled just kind of looks side to side, confused, and then just back steps once and then takes off into an alleyway. You know that all baby right. giggle? <laughs> Valsinian mimics that. Valsinian nice. I understand that that was a very compassionate thing to do. However, that could possibly draw attention. You should let us know if you're going to do something like that. Speaking of which, roll a d20. Everyone? Nope, nope. just Valsinian, because okay. he casted a spell. Two! Oh. 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 I am playing with fire! <laughs> you really are. Oh my god. All right. To be fair, I couldn't really warn you without blowing my cover. I'm you guys baby. continue. I'm going to pick guys... up that really nice sword just in case we need it. I don't know. Exactly. Absolutely. It is a long <laughs> sword. Um, when you pick it up, it is cold to the touch. Oh. Mm. Yeah. It's very mm. cool to the mm. touch. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Notably, other objects they seem to have been packaging are like pouches of things and uh, nothing really else to note. I'll just say you can take the sword for now, but everything else is being kind of locked up, so... Also above game, good job, dude. Good move. Nice. Good, I, good I, move, respect, yeah. I respect. I respect that. Yeah, I, I, I had to do something. I know. It was also in Valsinian's character. Good. Um, as you guys proceed forward, completely unaccosted, most of the people you run into are kind of grunt guards who kind of run past. Uh, you do see the occasional paladin and cleric combo, but they tend to be kind of doing their own thing and are talking over what appears to be orders, but nothing that really gives you guys any details, unfortunately. Eventually, you make your way to the middle and lower district gate, where you see currently posed very closely is our uh, two paladins. Um, notably, one uh, is slightly shorter than the other, um, and they seem to be very stern, very stiff in their position at the moment. Uh, but as you approach, there appears to be, unfortunately, uh, unlike the uh, high district and the uh, middle district is an actual, like, uh, what's the word? Not border, but like a... Gate. Like a inspection checkpoint. A, a checkpoint yeah checkpoint thank yeah. you thank you so much it was on the tip of my tongue uh it's a checkpoint and you can see currently um two dwarven individuals arguing with uh one of the guards just going i have business in there today i need to take these glass bottles in there's like unfortunately you do not have the right paperwork so we're going to ask you to leave and he's like <sighs> kind of just runs off with his with his cart and tow with all these bottles jingling in the back and as you guys approach Hmm? Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I was just gonna say, since we're like the special forces sorcerers, we should have a little easier time getting through. I think maybe, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> we will, yeah. yeah. So before we get too close to them, I'm assuming Valsinian is being held in a way where he can see what's coming up. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I imagine so. 
cradled lovingly in Construct 76's arms. Okay, there's just two of them, yes? Yes. If it seems like things are going south, I can take care of them. I'm sure you... you're very charming as a baby. Just don't never expect the baby. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Yes, I'll never baby. expect the baby. <laughs> I mean, I am the baby. You've got to love me. And they're not the mama. <laughs> not the mama. <laughs> Glad someone got that reference. Of course. I'm old. <laughs> All <right>. You too. <laughs> All right, so we approach with confidence. Okay, who's approaching first? Uh... Zenrio yeah, what is their first. formation? Okay, Zenrio. All right, you approach yeah. uh, with your alloys behind you. As you approach the other paladin, you can see one paladin is dealing with people coming in. You have one paladin dealing with people going out. And as you approach, the paladin turns towards you and puts up a hand and goes, Hey, Al? Uh, saw, dude. I mean, hello. <laughs> Roll a deception check. <clears throat> um... How's 25 do for you? Oh, yeah. He, he kind of <laughs> shakes his head for a moment, and he kind of goes, it seems this corrupted land is rubbing off on you. Do mind not to lose a sense of your sensibilities, Master Sorcerer. Uh, uh, ahem. Yes, indeed. I do agree with the words that you are speaking to me verbally. Forsooth. <laughs> what business do you have in the lower districts? Uh... We're just heading through to make sure that nobody is doing anything bad and wrong, and we will stop them from doing bad and wrong things because that is our job. Kind of leans over. Dab. Just kidding. <laughs> um, he leans over and goes, "Is that a cobalt?" Uh, <laughs> it is a it is a baby uh, that we found, and we're taking to the appropriate authorities. Where did you? find it at this point the other paladin has like stopped and has turned over curious about what's going on and they're just kind of uh, leaning over and they're like yeah uh where did you find it zenrio's <laughs> eyes get really big and he kind of looks side to side uh in a dumpster <laughs> and then construct 76 comes by it's like yes i i, I that is true we we have found it in in a dumpster nearby. please roll deception check with advantage because construct 76 is helping you this is me? Yep. Okay, deception 22, uh, 22. 22? Yeah. You watch Since it's before the outcome, could I do the uh, bend luck? It's already with advantage, so it wouldn't affect anything. Bend luck adds to the roll. It doesn't do it adds, advantage. It oh, adds, that's right. It does. It adds 1d4, yeah. Go for I it, think. yeah. Plus sorcery. We'll spend two sorcery points and add... Uh, Three to your yeah. roll, so it's a 25. 25 now. 25? I am so glad you did that, because he had a 23. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire tonight. He mm. kind of, the, the paladin kind of leans back. You notice he's got like a mustache? It's a very nice mustache. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of runs his fingers over the mustache and goes, the people of these lands even throw their own children. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yes, indeed. These... Fools do not know what is good for them, which is why we are here, right? <laughs> uh, precisely. Huh. Well, I'm glad to know that you're still in the up and up. Good luck, gentlemen. He kind of gestures towards the gate. You as well, on the morrow. Yeah, thank you kindly. Um, <laughs> like, walk, he'll walk by, like, kind of, like, covering his face a little bit. Like, so he doesn't make eye contact with them. Mm-hmm. You guys make it through, and at this point, you enter kind of the city proper, where there are actual civilians now. It's not just Oren clergy members. Though, that being said, Zenray, you've been on these city streets when you, you know, came and came here for the first time, all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, the lower districts are the busiest districts, as that is the first accessible place of the city. Um, mm -hmm. It's the place of tradesmen and, and chefs and crafts workers and your mercenaries. Mm -hmm. um, and it is like... It is like, uh, I'm trying to find a comparison, but it is like, imagine if New York was like, have you guys been like, like a big city, right? Like yeah, a kind yeah. of the shoulder to shoulder big city. 
Imagine it's like one sixth of that. Yeah. Mm, there are happen. people, but it's literally, you can tell it's only people who have to be out. Mm -hmm. um, you see currently like a lot of dwarves currently delivering things, delivering goods. You see a few people with like bundles with like crops and stuff. Um, and what you do also notice is a lot of people being stopped. A lot of guards are stopping people, asking them a lot of questions, looking through. You see one woman currently sitting, and you see there's, like, one guard currently standing next to her, and she's got her arms crossed. She doesn't seem in distress. She just seems really annoyed. Um, and you see two other guards are currently, like, haphazardly, like, pulling out turnips and just tossing them into the mud next to the basket and just, like, looking through until they go good and then they kind of load it all back in with the muddy turnips and like hand it back to the woman and kind of get out of here and she like kind of goes on her way um you notice there are smithies like dwarven smithies human smithies that you would you remember zenryo used to make horseshoes or they would make you know chains or craft supplies and here they are now making and repairing swords for the orange clergy members you can see one currently examining a sword and kind of throws it back on the lap and goes sharpen it again or i'll cut your head off with it and he's like Ugh. and he goes back to like the sharpening stone and sharpens it is a very sad uh display and as you walk through it's almost like the life's been sucked out of the land as you proceed forward Notably, you hear some oh, gasps and screams as the dragon coasts over again above your heads for a moment. And it lands on top of a roof, crushing it inwards. Uh, tiles kind of fall down on the ground and people kind of run for cover as it kind of just peers around like a vigilant watchdog. As if something has it on high alert. <clears throat> Without, um, sorry, that wasn't like a, hey, my, uh, sorry, I just had something in my throat. Um, without drawing attention, uh, or sorry, without appearing as though that bothered us or me, um, is it possible to tell how much closer we are to the wall, the outer gate? The outer gate is the furthest one. This one is the largest center, so you have double the time here to get out. Okay. Got it. So we just continue on the way so we far? Just venture forward. All right. Yeah. You guys venture forward. Uh, you watch as the general sort of mood here. You see a lot of people inside of their homes with the doors closed. Um, notably, no children playing outside at all. Um, and as you continue walking, you do see like a group of about 10 soldiers currently like busting into a house. Um, and there's a dwarf who just looks like he is red faced and angry that they're currently probably going through his house. Uh, you can also see as you walk by, actually of note, you reach kind of a um, a crosswalk of sorts, uh, in the center of which is a uh, a fountain for beasts of burden. And you do notice uh, a couple of individuals, these two guards currently dragging what appears to be um, an owlbear. It is a purple owlbear that's kind of swinging and swiping, and they're currently dragging it uh, across the way. Uh, notably, after that, you see a large, um, I would say, kind of troll-like creature. It's very large in nature. Um, has kind of a weird snout. Um, almost sort of a, um, let's see, teal? Would teal be the right description here? I'm going to look that up real fast. Sorry, just so I don't get my colors wrong here. Yeah, like a teal kind of fur with like these runic markings on them. They're almost gorilla-like in nature. They have a long tail kind of trudge forward and they are completely manacled up with like a uh, muzzle on them. And they, unlike the owlbear, are being somewhat compliant as they are being dragged uh, through the center of the city with chains. Um, and you can see there's quite an array of beasts that are currently parading through right now, seemingly seized from some location. Hmm. <clears throat> we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to be mischievous and loose the, the troll on the area, do we? That was oh. a thought that I had. Yeah, you know, that would draw the attention of not only the dragon, but possibly even more soldiers. That said, we could get lost in the mix if we were to need a distraction. I'm not quite sure if we do at this moment. Hmm. 
I mean, it's worth a try, right? Wait. Okay, so uh, the trolls, is is he in shackles or is he in a cage? Uh, he's in shackles. So they're currently he... being walked out. Um, okay. There's two guards right now that are managing a very ordinary owlbear that looks really, really upset. The troll seems passive. It mm -hmm. seems more like depressed than anything at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and behind that, you see they currently have what appears to be these very strange looking lizard dogs is the best way to describe them. Mm -hmm. um and they're currently have those also muzzled and chained up and they are they're really fighting those ones like they're very very aggressive and seem to be very unhappy about being put on a leash for sure hmm. well i mean so far we haven't really roused any suspicion so i think i guess the logical choice is to just keep going and making progress but but that that's the not the choice. fun choice i know it's not the fun <laughs> um our how... mission is to get eos to safety well, I know that's important, but I think also helping the people of the city is important too, right, That Eos? is helping the people, I promise you. Eos speaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your what, what, what was that? Uh, you just heard a groan, and that was it. <laughs> she agrees with me, you heard her, right? She agreed with me. Also, if we free some of the monsters, I bet they would rampage on some of the innocent civilians here, maybe. Not only that, but we are disguised as soldiers, unless they have some keen sense of smell or are able to determine that we are not what we appear to be. We could be targets as well. Perhaps we can save the shenanigans until we need them. <laughs> You're right, Connie. I agree with you. I like your, like, Marge voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, homie. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> I've got mischief on the mind. Yeah, but... I can hear, I can hear yeah. Val thinking. I can, I could just, through the corner of my eye, I can feel it like an itch on the back of my scales on my neck. I, I just know Val's about to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, above game, I know this situation. But I can't act on it. Instead, I'll act on the fact that there's an owlbear. Monty, does the owlbear have ma manacles on it? Uh, its beak is open. It has what appears to be like a... Um, how do I describe it? Like, the two men who are currently dealing with it have, like, these long, like, steel pole arms. And at the end are, like, small chains. And then they're, they're currently controlling it by its neck on either side as it has this sort of metal chain. It's, like, swiping with its claws, but it can't reach the men. Because Do the chains holes. have any sort of latch or lock on them? The neck piece does have a latch on it, yes. <sighs> mm -mm. This is really dumb. But, uh... You gonna mage hand this? <laughs> Knock. <laughs> okay, that makes, a, that makes a loud noise. I just want to point that out. It emanates from the manacle or the locked object, however. Okay. Are you so selling... Are you subtle spelling this, or are you? Just... Yes, I am. Okay, good, good call. They will never As you know. are all considering this, and Zenrio and Arcanus, you are currently kind of debating what to do. Your baby reaches out a hand and kind of wiggles a little bit, and you hear a concussive snapping noise as immediately the owlbear besets onto the guards, and everyone begins to flee the space in a panic. Valsinia. And now we can run. Go, go. Um, I mean, go, go. Uh, just to to reinforce this, um, so the troll is also in manacles too as well, right? It is, yeah. And as the owlbear is now besieging the two guards that have been, like, holding it by these pull arms, mm -hmm. the troll looks kind of surprised. Its ears kind of flicking up. It looks very scared for a moment. Mm -hmm. um, so can I cast Polymorph on the troll to turn it into a mouse and then immediately... Have immediately absolutely drop concentration can. to turn it back into a troll <laughs> you know what yeah sure absolutely i will say it does get a saving throw because it does it's not aware of your assistance sure uh and, and i'll roll case... that d20 in the meantime for the wild magic yeah oh yeah six i'll, I'll do um okay. i mean may as well i'll do uh i think it's heightened spell the one where they have they roll at disadvantage yeah Okay, yeah, so right. yeah, so it's got a disadvantage on this roll. 
good call. You watch as the troll shoop, becomes a little tiny little white mouse on the and ground then, and looks even more confused. Then I immediately drop concentration on the spell. Uh, for shoop. <laughs> it becomes big and looks a little bit confused. And then people begin to kind of scream and yell and it begins to gallop away down kind of from the opposite direction where you guys have come from <laughs> and right, is curbly I'll... galloping towards, I would say probably towards the south side of the city at the moment. That was my You're good, answer. Valsinian, and you are good. Yeah, yeah, so. Right, Chaos erupts as people are screaming. The owlbear immediately kills two of the guards, and you see as a paladin runs up and begins to fight with the creature. And you guys take off running? Yep, I think so, right? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you run, you look behind yourself, Zenrio, and you watch as the troll gallops. You see its form shift again as it turns into a giant eagle and flies away. Oh. Oh. Cool. <laughs> uh, you don't see that every day. <laughs> well, it depends you on guys, what spells you know, I guess. As you guys continue running, you see running the other way are two paladins, and they kind of stop and see you guys running and goes, Why are you running? We need your help! Oh, we have to get this... Uh, we have to get rid we of this baby. Delivered. Yes, we're, we're on a baby delivery. It's very We're important. on a mission. If anything, you should be doing your job. As you can see, this is a golden a dragon board. It's chosen by the light, something. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or the sun. Less is more. Right. Less is more. Choose, choose one, one amongst you to roll a deception check. Or actually, I'll, no, a persuasion check. This is a persuasion check. I have, I'm really good at that i think i have plus nine go in that uh Do persuasion right. you said? with advantage because your allies are also at aiding okay. isn't that right zenryu i mean yes exactly person. forsooth what they said is indeed correct so saith the uh, eyes who saith for the sun and some junk i mean the uh. paladin so i'm going to go ahead and bend luck just in case no 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 it's okay you don't have to Okay, um, that will save those points. Yeah, the paladin, like, kind of goes, get the baby to safety, and he begins to run forward towards the chaos. Ah, this baby lie really worked out well. Verily. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. I mean, Honestly, I can. We should incorporate babies into all of our strategies. Compassion is the weakness of most other creatures. A baby made perfect logical sense. Yeah. Yeah, he's right, you know. Alrighty, as you guys kind of continue you. running, eventually you reach a spot where things have calmed down. Mm -hmm. And there's a sort of like, there's kind of like a general like, I heard there was an attack in the center square. And you see like guards running off. Mm -hmm. But generally now it's a little bit more like commonplace. People are kind of doing their business here. Mm -hmm. As you guys continue walking down the road, I'm assuming you're taking the most direct path to the wall. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. The dragon, notably... Uh, didn't notice the eagle, but is still sweeping around towards the gate. As you guys continue walking, keeping your eye on the dragon, notably turning the corner and heading towards you is a draconic sorcerer with an entourage of two guards on either side flanking her. And as you guys continue, do you guys continue down the road or do you stop and hide? What do you guys do? Uh, are we on like a direct collision course with these folks? You are, yes. Mm. Let's do uh, act natural. general like act uh, natural. Is that what we're doing? Okay. I think the draconic sorcerer would know their own number. They want to hide. Goo goo. Listen, we're all powerful sorcerers. We have tools at our disposal. If we were to turn now, that would only draw t attention to us. That is fair. Then fair warning. If they get suspicious, I'm going to take out the two guards. Yeah. If, no, we'll throw you at him. Don't worry. If we must subdue them, we will. Otherwise, we'll not throw the baby. <laughs> oh, we're oh we're throwing the baby. Do not throw the baby. No, we're throwing the baby. Throwing the baby too late. Here we go. We're walking. As as you're saying that, there's a dwarf who's like working on a pair of shoes, just staring <laughs> at the like the, the four of you, just like. It's sun it. culture. It's it's the culture of the sun. You you throw the 
Get back to work. Yeah, it's You're doing a great job. Yes. And we're very proud of you, but just keep working. Don't look at us. <laughs> Yay, verily. <laughs> he goes back to his work and looks very, like, shifty-eyed as you guys This is so fucking stupid, and I love it. <laughs> as you guys proceed forward, the sorcerer passes, and for a moment, everything feels okay. Wait. And the two guards stop. Do you guys stop? Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, they don't think they're talking going. to us. That's they don't right. think they're, talk they're not talking to us. What? They wouldn't dare. This is completely normal. I was walking Keep with walking. this baby. She turns around and goes, stop right there. Who's she talking to? I didn't, I don't know what's going on. I'm talking to you. Oh. Us. Oh, us. Oh. Oh, okay. We stop. Yes. I stop. You three. What contingency are you a part of? Do we know oh that? boy! Or is that not? Uh, <laughs> okay, I I immediately. Tr okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna immediately try to subtle spell a charm on him. Honor, okay. Uh, where? Uh, well, I'll burn that later. Um, so a uh, charm person, and I'm gonna. Oh, fuck, I'm curious if I should do all three of them. Do I have a better chance at doing a? If I do a higher level spell on one person, does it make a difference? Or no, the okay. saving throw is the same. So yeah, okay. saving throw is always She's the same. this is the only person we need to convince. All right. Yes. Do you have anything like heightened spell? Yes, I do. I have empower. Uh, does that? No, no, no. That just uh, makes the damage. right, right, right. I think um, heightened spell is the only one that lowers their DC. Yeah. Well, it, it gives them disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, yeah, nope. I don't have heightened. I have um, subtle extend. Imp uh, sorry, I don't want to get too and over the table on that. Can, no, 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 you're you good. Only, you're good. You can only use one meta magic per cast, so you can either choose. Yeah. Unless it specifies yeah, I, otherwise. There are yeah, some yeah. that can be used together. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't have that. Oh, wait. I have. I don't know where it is. I have an ability to at least get a. If the role is. You know what? We'll just see what happens. Um, you could believe, give your. You could. I can re-roll if, if for some reason it's not great. I can re-roll. We can also if... bend luck to lower their roll by right. 1d4. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Just I have no idea what they're talking about, so I'm just... <laughs> Go for it. Even... You're going to use charm, charm person, you said? Yeah. All Here right. We all have bend luck. He's part of the sorcerers by default. Perfect. So feel free to use your sorcery points, because I'm running low. Got it. Okay. Um, all right. Your... Here What's we go. spell save, DC? Uh... Spell save is 15. Okay. Anyone using bend luck to reduce I, the I'll, I'll do roll? it. I'll, I'll bend luck. All right. Go ahead and roll d4. Okay. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Wrong thing. Um, no, it's okay. All right. Who's rolling the d4? I'll, I'll roll the d4. It's in progress. <laughs> the dial-up internet is on its way. <laughs> we'll know in several seconds. You guys are doing just, like, amazing so far with everything. I'm very three. impressed. Three. Minus three. Okay. And your spell save DC is, is 15. So Can amazing. multiple people do that or no? I don't see a reason why not. If I mean, anybody else would necessary. like to also. It doesn't specify it can't be. Uh, you have to go you have it. to do it before the roll is basically the effects go off. So you have to choose now before I say yeah, anything. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it too. For another okay. three. Minus six. All right. For a moment, the magic doesn't seem to take hold. But through the bending of your wills and the wild magic that you've come to learn, she fails. The saving throw is now charmed by you. Ooh. Your questions are unwanted. We have a mission to accomplish. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Of course, brother. I apologize. That was very rude of me. No apology necessary. But please, get back to your business. We have to get to ours. Feelings you watch are certainly the... hurt. The two guards kind of exchange a look, looking towards the sorcerer, and it's just kind of like, oh, this is a change of character. And she's like, oh, of course, certainly. And um, good luck with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> the baby. <laughs> <clears throat> she shakes her head and begins to walk. 
Yeah. Here's, Peace out, here's, Wench. Here's a uh, good they, question. How long does yeah. Charm Person last? So, yeah, that's what I was going to say, because once they know they're not charmed anymore, they know they were charmed. So oh. we, we probably, isn't that how it works? It's just yeah. like a minute. We got to skedaddle. It's, charm Person is an hour. Oh, an hour. Oh, perfect. Oh, great. Yeah. We got we got a little bit of time, but we could mm -hmm. still kind of like subtly yeah, walk gonna, faster. Go faster. I think we all know that. We're all magic users. We know that we just charm somebody and that we bent <laughs> luck. We should probably just kind of mm, a couple. Do that, 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 that yeah, arms close to the body shuffle run. You know, the one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is a nice day for Valsini. Just getting carried everywhere. <laughs> you really are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. does this can is this considered like a short rest for him? Because no. like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've been casting, so probably not. Oh my god, this poor fucking dragon dude. He's not rolling above a ten. <laughs> As you guys Good. make your way, after about twenty minutes of walking, ducking and weaving, dodging the eyes of a few guards. The guards at this point get a little bit thinner. Um, well, have reach... they not been eating much? Right? Probably wah, not, wah. actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, you do reach the outer city wall where there is an even more intensive checkpoint. And when you say that, I mean, we can roll perception, but like how, like how many, what are we talking here? Uh, you see now about six paladins oh my instead God. of two. Mm. Uh, two on each end and two in the middle because mm. it's like a tunnel, right? Yeah. Um, you also see flanking the wall towards the entrance on this side at least is about uh, I'm going to say probably about four guards. Uh, you also notice that there is a makeshift watchtower which currently has an archer perched in it as well on this mm -hmm. side. Well, we... Um... Our course of action has led us to this inevitable crossroads. Um, I suppose, uh, logically, if we were to just turn around in a 180 degree turn, uh, we may draw more attention to ourselves. Notably, I'm going to say all you guys roll a perception check to see what's currently the current state of the checkpoint at this moment. Oh, right. I like how busy it is or like how hectic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Comfy. Ah, okay. I'm in the process of rolling. <laughs> processing. Notably, the dragon seems to have headed in the direction of the commotion of the animals at this point. So, all right, good are. job, he's, you guys. Yeah. He is no longer between you and the wall. All right, all right. two sixes, a 13, and a 17. Uh, Arcanus and Zenrio, um, you guys kind of look and you currently see they're turning people away at the gate. You see currently what looks to be a farmer. And you can see him just like a human man, older. And he's just like, I have to get home to my family. And they're like, I'm sorry, sir, unfortunately. Uh, Pedros is on the hunt. We'll ask for once we get the okay from, from him that we'll let you out. But for now, go drink or something. Wait, what was the name? Sense. Sorry, my bad. Pedros? Pedros. Pedros, Pedros. Yeah. is on the hunt. Okay. Pedros is on the hunt. Monty. Mm -hmm. Out of all the people there, who's the most important looking? Uh, currently, it's a paladin who seems to be the face. He's talking to people at the moment. The other paladins seem to be at rest. The ones on that seem to go to the outer, like outside, um, aren't talking to anybody. No one's coming in. Uh, the ones in the middle aren't talking, but there's one paladin guarding the way out, and then another one that's currently talking and turning people away. The most close, important. Is he? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I was just going to ask, the, the one that is the most important, he's on the inside of the gate? He is, yeah. They're and, all and paladins. How, They're all the same rank, yeah. but he seems to be the one who's doing the most, like, active, like, you know, turn around, sir, go home. Also, and and now that we're at this crossroads gate, are there any horses or is any travel vehicles nearby? Uh, yes, there actually is. You currently see kind of lined up. Um, there's a cart that has a donkey pulling it. Mm -hmm. um, you see also, like, a larger, what looks to be like ale distillery style, like big barrel 
on the back of a cart that has two kind of Clydesdale, like these very large draft horses kind of in the lineup as well. And you can see a dwarf just kind of like smoking a pipe, like this is bullshit, just kind of getting angry, like thinking about where he's going to have to stay and where he's going to store this ale. Um, you see just some yeah. general farmers, general folk. Because if we're, if we're down for like a more high speed solution, we can all get on the yeah. um, wagon with the, uh, the, the big strong horses, right? <laughs> That's my I other can... question is how long is this tunnel gate thing? Uh, the gate is probably i'm gonna say about 30 feet all the way through oh okay that's not great. and is it I one gate or idea. is it like double gated or is it like uh it is a gate and then you would know that it leads into the tent district which is basically the open air district which is where there mm -hmm. is no real like law um i would say this you know that's where the army is stationed for the orange clergy <laughs> that's where their camps are for their <laughs> army. so Dude. i have a sneaky idea <laughs> Oh no. Have I steered you wrong yet? Well, that depends on what you mean by that. Much like wild magic, fate often decides, but so far, fate has not done us too much harm. Ah, but you see, the whims of fate are ours to twist and bend. Uh, uh, lot, so we, to speak. Work, we work with our magic, we don't control it, remember? I am part of my magic. My magic, magic is part, is of, part me. of me. <laughs> and we are make one piece. And together we are free. This yeah. is my magic. This other people have many magic like, like it, like but it, this, one is, this mine. is mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying, but what I'm thinking is. I can get the most important person here to escort us outside the camp. Scott Free. If they it will works, not dare gainsay them. I oh, will but you say see, that most that's of the time, bending. I would be concerned about your choices. However, that does actually seem to be a wise choice in this situation. We're vastly outnumbered. And if we could all assist each other in this move, this could be how we get out. Do we maybe want to be in the wagon anyway with the big strong horses in case things go south? So we can just take off real quick? Well, that would be a bonus, I'm sure. Just to point out, the wagon with the horses currently has a very large barrel on the back of it. Um, and uh, there is a dwarf in the jockey's seat at the moment. Wait, the, the barrel the barrel's filled with booze, right? You assume so. It looks like it. It's got like a logo on the side. Okay. If it's the... dwarven booze, we can definitely set that on fire. So wait, we're gonna ride a flaming wagon? No, 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 Sorry, no, no, this no. Is We don't ride a flaming wagon, right? We 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 untap the 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 barrel, right, so that the booze is flowing behind us. We skedaddle, and then we set the trail on fire. Good luck. What my plan Good luck, is. dwarf. Yeah, yeah you guys game. can talk above game, actually. If you guys are okay. not talking above game, I actually need to use the bathroom, so go ahead and plan. It's perfect. What I plan to do, if you'll use Ben Luck to help me, because it's a wisdom save and he's a paladin, of course. Mm -hmm. of course. I plan to use Dominate Person on him. I'm Please. going to tell him we're on a very important mission, and he has to escort us out of the city with a cart. Are you going to tell him that as a baby dragon? I'll be speaking telepathically to him, so no one oh, will know okay. I'm even in his head. I just wasn't sure if he looked into your deep, big, giant, cute, beautiful dragon <laughs> baby eyes, and then you just started talking to him, and then he just got lost in your face, and then fucking you could do it like that if you want. You said. I don't. Yeah, you know what? Lost baby. Tell yeah. Because <laughs> I'll use subtle spell on it so they don't know what's happening. He's just looking into my eyes. <laughs> yeah, hearing hearing that voice, getting sucked into your face. Yeah, I'm um, the baby. Got to love me and I do mean, as I command. All, if we all combine our bending luck powers, I find it difficult to. I mean, look, we all went to school together. We we know we can do. We we could do this shit. We know this. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm I'm down for that. Yeah, let's let's triple tag team this or whatever. Yeah, three. Yeah, well, let's just hope that we all roll decent. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because then we got a whole tunnel of dudes on our ass. Technically, I could use Ben Luck, too. It's not a sorcery yeah. spender. 
Right. Well, it's a sorcery right. expander, but not a. Well, no, spell you can modifier. use it as like an a-, a bonus action, right? Mm-hmm. A reaction. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Great. Then let's all do it. That sounds like a very legit thing. And if we have him, then going through the encampment outside of the wall, who's going to, who, I mean, if people recognize that dude, who's going to stop us? Exactly. Exactly. You do want to have one minute. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, we better book it. <laughs> we got to get, we got to get the F out of here. I'm it's sorry, one I minute. Crackers. My stomach is growling and it's really, I'm really just going to pick up on the microphone. So. Do it. Yeah, no worries. So you got one minute to dominate. Yes. You will be under right. our control for one minute if we Then we succeed. got gone in 60 seconds. That's what we got. <laughs> I mean, I mean, You're I could the cards also, right there because he can just force him off. I could use suggestion, which lasts for a long time. I mean, we could keep him on technically, and then he'll escape this crazy place. But oh, you know what? No, he'd be held responsible. So no, screw thing, that. Yeah, his dominate person lasts for um, that lasts for one minute, but suggestion yeah. lasts for eight hours. So that would yeah, give but, us plenty. Yeah, it would give us plenty of time. But dominate gives us full absolute control. Yeah, for right. one minute, mm-hmm. we just need to make sure that as soon as he's under control, mm-hmm. we're like, dude, we're n- no small talk. Get on your. We're going now. We're yeah, on yeah. emergency. Get yeah, out yeah. now. What I would actually suggest is, once dominate person is about to drop off, follow it up with suggestion. Mm. Mm, I could do that. You can, know what? You how about we? Thing? How about we suggest anything. a fireball yeah. in his mouth, and then you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I <laughs> no, that is another course of action if we want to go that route. We don't have to. We don't want. I mean, we're not psychopaths. No, we don't want to go that route. You know. Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> Some Alrighty, guys. so the plan is to dominate person and try and commandeer a cart. And then we're going to roll through that encampment. We got one mm-hmm. minute, and we're going to get as far away and as fast as we can through that thing before this dude gets his thing, and then I guess suggest or subdue, you know, decapitation by fireball. Whatever yeah. we do, we'll figure it out. Okay. We have people around us. We'll figure it out, yeah. Alrighty. So are you guys going to kind of preemptively do it or wait until you're in line to do it. We're in line, I'd say. Yeah, okay, we're going to walk right up to him, I assume, mm-hmm. and then we're all bending luck on this dude, all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you got this it. This will be so a subtle it's... spell, Monty. You got and the it. trigger forward is when he looks into my big baby eyes. <laughs> all right, so as you guys kind of wait in line, you just see a lot of disgruntled individuals being turned back, lamenting mm-hmm. the fact that they, they need to go home. They need to see their families. A um, lot of farming folk you notice, like a ton, and the the dwarf currently is just smoking a pipe on the on his cart. You also notice that there is a halfling farmer uh, with with a donkey donkey laden cart as well. Uh, those are the only two carts you see immediately in this area. Everybody else seems to be on foot. Uh, but as you approach, the paladin just kind of seems kind of tired and jaded. He goes, "Masters, I'm afraid that um, he turns and he sees you, Valsinian." Like, like, why do they have a baby for a moment? And you cast a spell? Yes, yeah, subtle spell, so there's nothing. He doesn't know what's happening. All until right. he hears this in his head. Hello there. We're on a very important mission. We need a cart and to leave the city as quickly and safely as possible. See to it, soldier. Okay, there's some saving throw. And now for the Bend Lux. Here yeah, we go. Let's... I will remove one. <laughs> okay. I remove four. Nice. nice. Five. Uh, oh wait. Did I do? Start. Wait, uh, I did one. Oh no! Yeah. I, I thought I got four. Your four was yeah. my four. Shoot. Are we processing construct? We are. Yeah, yeah it's we're gonna waiting be three. on that. All three. right. DC Seven. seventeen, by the way. Yeah, nine, so that's minus nine. That is going to be a seven with a minus nine. Wow. So that is a failure. <laughs> Holy shit. No! No, Wait, no, no. no. That's success. Sorry, oh, yeah. He, He's, failed. he fails. He fails. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're, good. You're good. You, you guys oh, succeed. Oh, yeah. God. My heart almost <laughs> dropped. <laughs> my he blinks twice and immediately turns towards the donkey cart. And he walks over to the halfling and says, get off the cart. And the, the halfling is like, but I get off. And the halfling is like, uh, stumbles off and grabs like a sack off of the back, which appears to be filled with potatoes. And he gestures, get on quickly. Wait, uh, mm, wait a minute. Okay. 
that can I, mean, I have can I have one of those potatoes <laughs> for evidence? <laughs> Of, of course. Give a potato! And you watch his eye and he goes, oh! He kind of opens up the sack and hands you what looks to be like a starter potato, so like what you would plant in the ground to start a crop. Right. And he uh, gives that to you. It's got some spuds coming this out of it. This potato has taken 12 seconds out of our one minute. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Thank you. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, can I cast Can I cast suggestion on this guy? No! Uh, he's, he's currently under getting domination. the jockey seat. He's already yeah, dominated! He's Let's get the fuck... Okay, yeah. here we go! Fine. I suggest you guys... we move with as much haste as possible. You guys load up into the back of the cart where the potatoes once were, and he takes up the jockey seat and kind of goes, yeah, and you watch as the donkey gallops forward. And the other paladin also, goes, can we cast haste on the donkey? Yes, I was going to do that. I was going to cast haste on the donkey. Oh God. <laughs> All can right, we... you guys cast haste on the donkey. Hold on, hold on. As... Can we stack haste if I cast no. haste and somebody else does? <laughs> you cannot, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Valsinian, also, you need to roll a d20 because you did cast a spell. Yep. Eleven. Oh, thank God. I saw oh, the one I and I was like, one. oh, you guys begin galloping hoping. and one of the paladins goes, Lawrence, where are you going? And you immediately cast haste and the donkey just, just like <laughs> beelines it out of the tunnel. Does and he in have an like instant, the sonic feet? Like the... Oh yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, a hedgehog yeah. on, a, on a wheel. Have you ever seen a hedgehog actually run on like the little wheels? It's no, hilarious. I'm about it's very to. cute. You need to Google that after we're done playing. You guys begin to get away on this donkey cart, immediately rushing into the ar the war encampment of this um, of this area. I'm trying to find appropriate music, but I I, I don't know what to play in this moment. I'm not. You prepared. have like a uh, Mario Star. I wish. I'm trying to think of what I could grab. <laughs> gas, gas, gas. Wait, Monty. What? Oh my Club god. Sheamus. Club Seamus. Club it is. Yes! We'll do it. It's fun. Right, you're gonna enjoy this one. Get ready for some dwarf rave music. You guys blitz out of the gate and immediately the paladins go stop and yell and you guys are out on the field. To your left and the right you see large tents currently housing a bunch of bleary-eyed soldiers who are currently eating, like, soup. And as you rush past, they kind of, like, look confused and get up onto their feet. And as you guys are out, you watch as the paladin kind of shakes his head and goes, what? Confused. And turns back and sees you and goes for his sword. What do you do? Do I'll any of the them notice? Sorry, do any of them notice that the guy who's on the, the cart with us is, like, a, a leading knight a paladin he is a paladin but that donkey going fast <laughs> <laughs> and also he left donkey. without a word to his allies from his post yeah no so while they're not immediately hostile they are notably confused were you still planning to use suggest octo i mean uh how far behind is he he is coming out of the dominate person, is going for a sword as he notices the situation he is in. So he's oh, coming out no. of it. Oh, no. How, how far? How, wait, is he with us? Yeah, he's he driving. Is, yeah. yeah, he's, he's driving. In the, okay. He's driving the cart. D suggestion. I cast suggestion on him. Okay. I'm using okay. bend luck. Yeah, why not? I mean, what else am I going to use it for at this point? This I'm subtracting close. three. Okay. Uh, I'm subtracting four. Okay. That is 12. That is a failure. Mm -hmm. You, so what do you suggest to him? What does he do? Uh, it would be really cool of you to just drive us out of here and just be real chill about it. He's like, huh? oh yeah, okay, man. And turns back and like whips the, the reins and the donkey takes off running. I'm gonna roll one more time. This dragon, notably, as you guys are galloping outside of the town, you see off in the actual lower district an explosion go off, like a oh, big whoa. burst of like ice, just a large explosion. And you see immediately, almost like glittering in the space, a bunch of silver dragons pouring out of that section of the city. And you see them flying in the same direction as you guys currently. Oh, but boy. like slightly off. Like, after is that, us? Is that, or... is that good or bad? 
Uh, you would know. The Silver Dragons are allies of Alabast, so that is clearly a prison break of some manner. Oh, oh cool. Hell yeah. All right. For context, all of these one-shots are happening at the exact fucking same time. So, oh, okay. yeah, that's a little off to the side thing, but it definitely caught the dragon's attention. As you guys continue galloping through the war camp, and up ahead, you see the last garrison, the last final Come checkpoint. On. You see go two there, Monty. guards. <gasps> Perfect! Monty! Yep. As soon as we're within range, like 60 feet of them, may I twin spell something? Absolutely. The two guards immediately like run and try to stop you with their lifted spears. What do you do? I'm going to twin spell Phantasmal Force. And the nightmare that takes shape in front of them is a hulking brute of red skin and giant oh, horns. Oh, you're an asshole. It's All right. the Red Death, Tiango. All right, the devilish form of Tiango takes form. The two guards. Uh, that is going to be an 11, which is a failure. DC 17, Second, intelligence oh, save. Natural one. I am rolling like garbage, dude. That is also a failure. So they are both afflicted by the Phantasmal Force and immediately grip their heads and drop their spears as you guys rush forward. It, uh, are the gates open or closed? It is like a wooden garrison. So it's like spikes, like not really okay. like a wall. It's like an opening gateway area. So so uh, it is open or, or it, there's things barring our way. Uh, there would be on either side, like, wooden spikes, Barney. Okay, so if you can I... charge that way, the, the donkey would die. Could I cast, could I cast Erupting Earth to clear the path? Uh, of the guards? Sure, absolutely. Oh, I mean, like, the debris that's keeping us from exiting. Or the no, stuff No, you can exit. Keeping... It's just the guards in your way, right oh, now, okay. on the road. Then, then yeah. I would also like to twinning spell Erupting Earth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the these guys. <laughs> All righty, go ahead. And not only do they have Tiango standing in front of them, the ground's the exploding ground beneath them. That makes sense, though. Yeah. Yeah, uh, demons are coming out and, like, yeah. like attacking them. That they get like heart attacks and die cool. on the spot, yeah. <laughs> okay, All sorry, right. for you're going to have to wait for a second for these <laughs> dice to finish rolling. No worries. I think the All first right. guy succeeds. Uh, they definitely the other guy does not. Yeah, so the first okay, guy that's, succeeds. That's the uh, first one? He's dead, though. <laughs> that, like, there's no hope. These guys are, like, privates. They're not even, like... Oh, these poor and, guys. And they true. had families. Course, they were just doing and this a is, job. Uh, and both of these are AOE, of course, so anyone within that 20 kind of foot radius is... Yeah. Anyone the in anything, ground, basically. The ground erupts, and so do screams, as the ground launches forward, making a perfect ramp for you guys to leap off of with the hasted donkey. It <laughs> flies to the air about 30 feet before colliding into the ground. And you guys continue onwards into the woods as you just see trailing behind you far off in the distance, like horses and men like rallying, but there's no way they can catch you at this point. Uh, the paladin who's under your suggestion spell is like lashing the uh, reins and goes, Oh, that was bumpy, wasn't it? And just smiling without a care in the world. No idea hey, what's going you're on. You're doing great, buddy. Yeah, oh, we all thanks. pat him on the back. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're very Good supportive. Job. Good job. We want well, to build Sinian. you up. Well, Sydney well, and no. the dragonborn baby is standing next to him. That's <laughs> him on the back. <laughs> you're a cute baby. Oh, well, thank you. Continue you continue smiling. Eventually, you guys reach kind of winding around these farming roads, and eventually the roads hit a deep forest, a lush and deep forest. And it gets to a point where the cart like is like jagging, like jumbling around, like ricketing side by side. This is not brown meant for a cart of this nature. And eventually you hear a kick as you slide around the ground and the cart has broken. And you are far outside of the city walls. An hour has passed so that sorcerer is no longer charmed. And you guys oh. have made it outside of the city. the um the paladin is there a way uh, so they're no longer charmed at all no he still is charmed. he's or still suggested? charmed he has suggestion yeah okay so if we suggest that he just did a great oh. job succeeding in his mission and walks away walks back gets back to his post mm -hmm. we could do that 
Yeah. I don't see why not. Uh, Suggestion. Go home. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. actually, hold on. The spell ends when the subject finishes what it was asked to oh, do. Oh, yeah, it does. Right. So as so the I was... breaks and stops, he, again, slowly has that moment of realization and goes for a sword. What do you guys do? I was going to charm person. Okay. Again. Because <laughs> at least it gives us an hour. Yeah. I love this um, mind fuckery. <laughs> okay. This is this is honestly, in my opinion, the definition of quadratic. You guys quadratic dodged concert. my fucking ancient gold. Like I'm ancient. My my adult gold dragon. I'm pissed. I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. Is like of all the times for wild magic to work in your fucking favor. Oh, going invisible in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Monty, by the way, bend luck. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say I rolled, so if anybody would like to bend luck. You Four. Have... <laughs> okay. Uh, that will make this a 14, then. Oh, yeah, that should beat his DC. DC 15, so that he fails. Yeah. Okay, he's charmed. Yeah. He's like, huh? oh. sorry about that. I, just, I got really angry for some reason. I don't know no, why. It's understandable. There's been quite a bit of activity. You've it's done a, a wonderful job. You should be very proud of yourself. We I will continue our mission. You know, you got us to our destination. We will deliver the baby. You must get back to the city and fulfill your duty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, he kind of like slaps the sides with his heart, like his hands kind of awkwardly goes, it's been a good time, you know? So that was pretty fun. I like the hour-long walk he's going to have back to the <laughs> yeah. city until he wakes up and goes, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he just briskly heads eastward back towards the city. I'm also rolling the 1d20 for my Phantasmal Force from earlier because I yes. neglected to do so. 18. You're fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I need one more for Charm Person. Yep, here we go. And, I mean, I've been rolling ones all day, but and there you good. go. Good. Good, good, good. He, you watch as the paladin kind of walks towards the east, just like just a little spring in his step. He looks pretty happy, none the wiser. <laughs> you guys continue into the woods, the darkened woods. Uh, eventually, you know, coasting over, fallen over logs, ducking under the boughs of trees, uh, until you reach a temple entrance. Notably, you see a bunch of slain or in clergymen. You see a herald. Uh, which you recognize by the wings on the back of the armor, currently slumped over dead on the ground. Uh, and you see a bunch of other those foot soldiers with the spears currently on the ground as well, as well as a crumbling golem-like creature that looks angelic in nature. Hmm. Um, Not that I think it makes that much of a difference, but can I uh, discontinue? Can we get back to what we normally look like, at least? Can yeah, I you <laughs> remove right. the seeming. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. From the scenery, it appears that Perhaps they may not be too favorable towards the Orin. Um, I hope you don't mind. Valsani, you are oh. no longer a baby. Sorry. Oh, thank Actually, goodness. no, I, I keep him looking like he can walk around, but he still looks like a baby dragon. <laughs> we still don't know. We, we don't understand what the strategic value of having a dragon baby could be. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Maybe it could come in handy later. Logically. Yes. Sanrio, is that you? You hear a voice. Whoa! What? Hello? You watch as one of the. You watch as like a, a bush, like a head sticks out of a bush, like a ghillie suit, and you see Kiwi, the the Kenku. If you remember Kiwi. Yeah, she's the he's, on from the ship, right? Yeah, he uh, oh, yeah. he's a, he's a Kiwi Kenku, so he looks like a Kiwi bird. He's got little tiny mm -hmm. arms, and he's holding a frying pan, and like like. You know, like a video game where you like you put a weapon away and it just kind of vanishes. It doesn't actually yeah, go yeah. anywhere. He basically mm -hmm. does that with the frying pan and goes, Sabrio, that is you. We were scared with all your bunch of sorcerers. Whoa, Kiwi, what's up, dude? How's it going? It's going pretty good. We um we had a bit of a problem with the, the entrance, but we we got settled, you know? And he kind of kicks one of the rocks and it kind of tumbles over. Yeah. Whoa. Hey guys, whoa. really quick, really quick. I am so sorry to do this. I, I think I have to take off. That's okay. I'm so you? Sorry. Okay, no I'm worries. I'm so sorry. I, I do have it's to get okay. started on my other stuff tonight. I'm sorry. No worries, no worries, no worries. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, no worries. I can we can finish it up here. But thank you so much for joining us, KG. We'll do you yeah, in the no outro worries. as well. No worries. Uh, yeah, I, I really apologize, you guys. But uh, no, no, it's all good. We went a little later than expected, so it's construct fun. runs out of battery power. Yes, it yes, yes. yes. <laughs> immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll plug them in later. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. Fun. Much love. Yeah, uh, thank you, care for being here. No worries, no worries. I had a lot of fun. All right, good night, you guys. Uh, Take care. Have a great night, man. Well. <laughs> Apologize. Um, Actually, give me one half of a second. My cat is meowing. No, you're fine. I'm actually surprised how long the construct lasted, normally during our training sessions. Well, the more intensive ones. He tends to shut down at least, I don't know, several hours in. He must have been very motivated. Yeah, he's, he's just gotta, he's gotta restart. He's been working pretty hard today. Oh. It's okay, everybody, they're good. I know them. You watch as all the trees and like a lot of the bushes just like immediately fall over, over and you can see, yeah. You see about, probably about 10 people um, of varying different statues. You see some dwarves, you see um, a drow. You also see a very, very, very handsome elf with a beard, which is technically impossible. Um, and he kind of approaches and places a rapier at his side, and he goes, Ah, good. More bodies. We could use some more help. Has Eos How'd ever you? told us what her husband looks like? Nope. Because she doesn't uh, know what her husband looks like. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Eos, how you feeling in there? Zinnia takes out the crystal. Uh, a little better. I, I, I'm, uh, hey. uh, what's your boo look like? I was, oh. And you watch as the elf with the beer kind of cocks his head and he goes, I'm sorry, What? what is that? Is that a talking crystal? Oh yeah, this is Eos. She's like made of magic and stuff. She taught us a bunch of things. She's really cool. She's like not feeling well right now though. Oh, um, hi. I'm your husband, I think. Oh, oh. Um, should it's we? It's nice to finally meet you. You've, you've never met? Yes, I'm confused. Usually Wait. when it comes to wedding, the people are familiar with each other. It was more of a, and even I was like, it was more of a political, yeah, it was more of a political, yeah, it was more of a political, yeah, they kind of like, they're like, no, 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 about it. I you could pull like us into your dimension, why not him? The baby says. <laughs> Uh, the kobold is right. I, I mean, Neos kind of goes, Well, the latent raw magic would basically kill anyone who isn't a wild magic sorcerer, actually, so... Oh, um, that's a good reason. Oh, yeah. Dragonborn, by the way, get it right. Uh, oh, right. Well, um, it's nice to meet you. Um, come on, we'll get you guys something to drink. You look, um, you look rather unscathed. Surprisingly. Yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised that we made it out. I mean, I did get a little singed from a, a wayward fireball earlier, but we're kind of okay. All For the most considered. part, I'm I'm mostly damaged psychologically from Valcinius and his penchant for tempting fate. But other Chaos. than that, we have we have succeeded, I believe, in our initial mission. With flying colors. I'm so proud of all of you. And if Construct 76 was, well, not in stasis, I'm sure I would be proud of him too. We will his inform him when he wakes up. <laughs> his arm falls <laughs> his off again. His arm falls off again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Valsinius, uh, mending, done. Yeah. Uh, yes, one moment. Mission accomplished. Good work, all of you. And as you guys head to the Underdark, to the safe haven of the Undersun, that's where we're gonna end the session for tonight. Good shit, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is this is like the definition of quad because they say linear fighters, quadratic wizards. This is like literally the definition of that. Like there were so many times where we had should have had to just fight, but we didn't. Oh yeah. No, like I I just want to point out, I'm gonna show it because it was not mm -hmm. used. Mm -hmm. But I just want to point out this map I spent a day working on. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. sorry. That didn't get used. It's okay. It was sorry. Um, it was a casual. Oh, yeah. I came prepared for mind fuckery. I, I I worked on this entire map so that way people don't think like, oh, Monty just gave them a free pass. No, 
there was an entire fight planned, but you guys were just out of the range of the dragon's perception. It had a blind sense, but you guys were outside of it. Mm-hmm. It was just like, it was all just it's searching around and looking, but you guys turned fucking invisible, so... That was dumb I, luck. As, as dumb luck as that was, I do feel like we stuck to our roots. We, we <laughs> stuck to what we believed we should do. Mm-hmm. So Anyway, appreciate my map chat. I made yes. it. Very <laughs> nice. It's a beautiful map. It's a beautiful map. You like and the fountain. fountain. Yeah, the fountain <laughs> where the fucking animals oh. and shit were. Yeah, no, I see I'm, it. I'm actually so sad. I never get to do Monty maps. Now I never I will. I know. You never will. It's just the way it goes. Holy you know what? You did it in your heart. You did. did it in your mind. You and did you know it. what? I could have forced a combat, but that's not fun. I could have been like, no, fuck you, combat. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm, golden I, golden dragon baby uh, is OP. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just you can't beat I, it. I mean, this was this was a sneaking mission, right? It this was. It was. It was yeah. a sneaking mission. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The idea was for you guys to get out, and however that happened was good. But if if there was a loud noise, the dragon would have been alerted, and then it would have had to pr- progressively like search for you. It came close once. You guys managed to all turn invisible with wild magic and then it didn't see you and then fucked off because i couldn't roll high after that point mm-hmm. so and then you you had too many sorcerers that could all bend <laughs> luck at the same time <laughs> yeah that <laughs> all, we all had some kind of charm spell every yep. time i was like okay this is a pretty good roll you guys bended luck and i'm like God, God. <laughs> that's the power I sit of here Four. I'm glad we. Uh, I'm glad we don't have cameras because the face I made when you guys were rolling the <laughs> left, where it was like, it was like, yes, yes, no. It was like, damn it. <laughs> oh, we should probably say goodbye to Austin. Yeah, bye Austin. You guys can stop. Bye Austin. Austin. Yeah. Bye Austin. Bye Austin. Bye Austin. Should we stop recording? Yeah. Uh, please right. save save the project as uh, your character name. So your character right. name and then one nine nine. All right. This is Unexpectables episode 199. What? 199? Wow. Yeah, 199. We're ending on 200. Crazy. All right, I'm exporting. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, my God. This was fun. So we, we succeeded. She's safe. You did, yeah. You succeeded with flying colors too. Yay! And you um, got to, you got to rope in some other stuff at the end, apparently. You did, with yes. The, the silver dragons uh, escaping. That troll yeah. was actually a major supporting character we somehow saved. Very good and, on that, Octo. Yeah. And, and that wizard was Dorothy. That was Willow's teacher. Well, I'm glad you guys did it and that it was, you know, yeah. without, like, knowing it above game. That's good. That's why I, I focus on the owlbear, because that's what Valsinian would see as a useful tool. If I was any other character, I would have done the same. I just, you know... I'm, oh I'm yeah, mission, yeah. No, you're being I'm you're playing smart. Mission based. There are moments yeah. to play smart, and moments to play a little yeah. risky, which was perfect for this group. So, but uh, yeah, let's do our outro here. Uh, we'll go backwards this time, I think. Um, this was Zenrio's last little hurrah. So, Octo, where can people find you? Uh, everywhere at Octo Pimp. You can, if you search it on anything, I usually show up. Um, except like two things but anyway it's always octopimp everywhere uh twitch and twitter and, uh, and all that good stuff um you play lost judgment it's really good it comes out like next week and i'm in it that's my only thing i gotta promote <laughs> hell yeah uh and rice pirate also known as mick <laughs> uh <laughs> thanks where give you find um, you uh, yeah, like Octo said, if you look up Rice Pirate, um, there are some weird accounts. So sometimes Rice Pirate Mick is the way, like on uh, Twitch and or Twitter. Um, but otherwise, Rice Pirate works. Um, in terms of things, I mean, I'm working on uh, my own animated project, Blood Sun Vendetta. It's a JoJo project. It's an animated project. It's not... It's so good. Go watch I, it. It's I, so I, I good. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, in terms of when you of... showed it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna interrupt to, to talk up Mick for a second here. <laughs> when you sh- I went to his house the other day, and it well it was a while ago now, but when you showed me, I was like, this looks like a full ass like show. You made a whole ass show. Thank you. Yeah, it looks you're very, good. you're very nice. I, I thank you. I'm very um, honest. I you are, you are. Um, but yeah, as far as voicing stuff, like honestly, it's like it's kind of all over the place. Um, 
I've been really bad about announcing things, and I actually don't even know what I can announce right now. Uh, so I, I won't, because I don't want to accidentally NDA You're myself. Smiling so. Friends? Yeah, yeah. A, a few characters in that. Yeah, um, yeah check cool. out Smiling Friends on HBO Max. Uh, it's made by a lot of great... You know what my favorite thing about Smiling Friends? Is that the majority of the people that worked on that are not, like, classically trained, yeah, you know, absolutely. academic artists. They're, like, you know, they're people who learned through just trial and error, through the internet, through just mm -hmm. uh, hobbies, oh. all that stuff. Um, and so you know, just they, said Newgrounds alumni is what he said. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. People. So it's all, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of new. I mean, I'm technically Newgrounds too. So, yeah, it's just a bunch of fucking or a bunch of Newgrounds people. Um, animation, voicing, effects, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, no, check it out. It's free. It's on HBO Max, I believe. So you can see all the episodes. Um, but yeah, other than that, check out Monty's stuff. Oh shit! Well, we got Arkolf too, as well. <laughs> you said yeah. reverse order, so it's you next. Right. Oh yeah, I guess it would be next. Yeah, uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, maybe Dungeons the Mad Mage. I have a, uh, an appointment thing that I have to kind of be around for. That's really important. Um, and uh, if everything's good, then we will do Dungeons the Mad Mage, which is very chill. It's very just chill D and D where we just play a module and there's no prep work involved. It's just very very relaxing. Um, I will not be streaming though for the rest of the week because this coming Wednesday is the last episode of the Unexpectables. So, uh, we're doing a 4 PM Pacific standard start. Um, so be there for that. Um, it's going to be quite the undertaking, get some snacks, order some pizza, um, and definitely come and check that out. Zito's in chat and he's sweating. He's one of the main cast. So um definitely definitely make it for that tell your friends if you need to catch up like as long as you're not in school or you're you it's pressing try and catch up i'd love to see you there live that'd be that'd be amazing honestly it'd be great um but arkolf where can people find you you can find me pretty much everywhere named arkolf unless someone has stolen my name beforehand not to be confused for our golf which is a strange coincidence or the, and company. or the or the autocorrect, which you hate so much. Yeah. Oh yeah, Arnold or Adolf, as <laughs> autocorrect likes to put. I pretty much only stream. Primarily been doing Elden Ring and Stranger of Paradise lately. Tomorrow I'll be on Colonel Cheru's channel doing D D again as a halfling in human sized power armor and artificer. Oh yeah, that's right. And that's about it for me. Alright. Oh yeah, hey. Final Prince Division, April second. Yes. Say goodbye to Kel. Yeah, Prince Division on April 2nd, last episode there. Um, and I would like to, I would love to thank our sponsor, Die Hard Dice, but my Die Hard Dice were rolling like garbage, um, especially for my dragon. I was using the Dracona set for my dragon, and it was rolling really bad, but it is nice to look at. Uh, thank you so much, Die Hard Dice. They are our sponsor. Um, they are the best dice you cannot see on the stream. Um, you can use the discount code UNEXPECTABLES exclamation mark to, uh, for a 10% discount on purchase. Uh, they have metal dice, they have plastic dice, they have dice trays, they have glowing dice trays, glowing dice. They have just a new set that just came out that looks really, really slick, and I really want one. Um, so there's some new stuff on the shop right now. Definitely check that out. They've been a huge supporter of the show, and if you guys use that code, it helps support the show as well. It means we get to feed Austin, and he's allowed to live. So definitely big shout out to Die Hard Dice, who's been with us for most of the game. Um, they're very, very nice. We like them, and I, I like to think they like us. Um, and speaking Monty, of support, yes? I just want to say thank you. Um, yeah. That was, that was yeah. super duper fun. And I know it took, <laughs> it took a little, it took like a moment to, you know, it's like new group, new people. So it takes a moment to try to, you know, like get get each other to a get degree. Get comfortable, yeah. Yeah, but I, I do feel like once we did it, I mean, it was fun before that, but it just got so much more fun once I felt like we were all kind of like on, on the, the same, same page. page. Yeah, no, it was just so fun. So thank you so much for the invite. Um, I know I, I'm a big novice I, to all this, so your patience and, and all of you guys' <laughs> no, patience. You guys I, I just really appreciate it, yeah. I, I'm a little sad you guys didn't get combat because that was was sort of a thing that I, I not in this way hoped had happened, but I was prepared to have happen. Um, so I feel bad if any of you guys prepared for, like, basically combat, but, I mean, you guys worked really well together, you're very clever, I, I had to, like, I had to be, yes, okay, absolutely, like, here's the situation, what are you doing? 
I mean, the dude got decapitated by a fireball when we didn't really <laughs> want to. So That's I feel true. like, you know, we, yeah, we some got some there Yeah, was we some saw combat, some, yeah. we created a little bit of havoc, but yeah, we I only, think, mm -hmm. yeah. We only directly killed, what, two people? Two people, yeah. yeah. That's you not managed. nearly as bad as it could have been. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. two guards on your way out with the erupting earth also died, though, even with the uh, success. Oh, uh, well. yeah. Yeah, that's true. yeah, well, yeah uh, they died. So it was four, technically. Uh, but they were, were killed by Tiango, the Red Death, not yeah, us. They, uh, yeah. They, sure, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. They accepted their fate the moment they <laughs> saw his red face. They, they knew that it was coming, so it wasn't that much of a surprise. Uh, I would really like to thank the chat that was here. I also want to shout out our main cast who were uh, currently, who may still be uh, in our Discord uh, for live viewing as well. For those of you guys who may be still listening in on that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's been a very, very exciting thing, and that will be our last one because, like, it, like I said, the next episode is the last episode. Um, I would very much like to thank, though, our bits and subs. I'm going to wrap God this uh, as best I can. I don't want to keep you guys too late because we already went over time. But uh, Xenarthus, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, we do need a name. We need an episode title as well. So let's see what chat has three, to offer. I still I saw three men in a boss baby, and I really like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> boss, boss baby. baby. Boss yeah. baby. Yeah. I'll, I'll write that down. Three men in a boss baby. Val, you make a great fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> really he makes a good woman too who makes out with ghosts as well nice i actually oh. derailed monty's first one-off that involved me completely avoided the final boss fight by using alter self to turn myself into the ghost's lover and making out with him and convincing <laughs> him to let us go yeah go. basically completely skip the final boss fight that's how you can get um, the real ending, by the way. That's the real yeah, ending. That's, that's, the, <laughs> true, that's the true that's ending. The true you, ending have to, right there. you have to beat the campaign and then start the game plus and do it again, now, but you just skip yeah, right to it. Yeah. Well, rules has written that spell makes it so he could only be a small creature, but I said, sure, why not be a medium well, creature and see what happens? Cool. I had a rule yeah. of cool, and it worked out, and it was very funny and very mm -hmm. memorable. I still All have right. the healing potion from that, by the way. You do, yeah. How long did yeah. those last? Um, I mean, they, they're good for forever. They're healing potions or magical items. They never wear away. So. God, it's been 50 years. I'm sure it still Yay. holds. I, I hope somebody clipped us all trying to say that mantra together. Because that <laughs> might have been my favorite word <laughs> of the entire I stream. I tried. <laughs> so good. My best. Yeah. The pseudonym McFake name. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Episode title. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I am Spite. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Episode idea. Chaos control. Mm -hmm. Dip and Bipples. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Uh, episode title, Bouncing Baby Death. King Kiwi, thank you so much for 100 bits. Man, I'm so glad I was able to catch at least this one shot live. All my classes this semester on Tuesday and Thursday, so I wasn't able to catch the other ones live. Glad the final episode is starting earlier because I might be able to watch part of it. Hell yeah. Robo Mom, thank you so much for the six bits. Uh, CD Regulus, thank you so much for 100 bits. Don't touch tasks, animals, you sun blighted schmucks. I imagine that was during the game. Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Show them the troll they saved. I could show you the artwork after we're done. I just didn't have it in the game. Unfortunately, mm. I, I forgot to upload that. I, I just put AOS in because that seemed like the most important thing at the time. Plus, I didn't know which path you were going to take, so... Mm -hmm. Shrugs. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, that gives us 100 bits. Tass is going to be so mad when he finds out. Uh, Dip and Bibbles with 100 bits. Thank you so much for the... Uh, oh, sorry. Dip and Bibbles with 100 bits. Uh, episode title, Supersonic Baby. Doom Knight, thank you so much for the 200 bits. This is pure chaos. Hey, Hamburger finally gets to see his wife. He sure does. And I love that um, fucking um, Hammernar got autocorrected to Hamburger. That is delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Yes, the Irish luck worked. Hell yeah. 100 bits from Goss, 21. Title card, Wild Magic is fun. This is the best one-off. No combat, all of Monty's hard work gone. <laughs> Can't wait for 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah sorry not uh, but, sorry i was worried about you guys because a uh, because an adult gold dragon is nothing to sneeze at it is a very oh, set, no. scary enemy oh, yeah no. yeah Myth i was Rax. worried for a moment when we opened with a self-centered fireball yeah, yeah that was yeah. that was a little scary mm -hmm. um well that was the initial distraction it worked uh yeah. it did work in a way unintentional uh zenlita thank you so much for the 200 bits episode title three mages and a baby <laughs> Magic Ninja Go, these are 100 bits. Glad, glad to see the lizard hounds got saved. I was wondering about them lately. Yeah, saved with quotation marks. Magic Ninja Go, these are 100 bits. Man, Prince Division is ending after April Fool's Day. It's the punchline. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for an additional 100 bits. 
Uh, also, hope I can get one of my uh, out of my classes soon enough to get home when the stream starts. Hell yeah! If Long you have stream. school, please focus on school. Do not, you know, it's going to be yeah. there. Also, the VOD will be available. We do not have our VODs behind subscription only, so if you want to catch the VOD immediately, you can because the YouTube Monty, upload will be delayed. Interrupt. Yep. Should mm -hmm. I give them the uh, link to upload their audio? Uh, we'll do that after we're done. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, because that's that's kind of behind the scenes stuff. Um, because I know you guys probably do need to head out. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rapid gun this because we do have to go. We are late. Uh, Blackfoot Fair, thank you so much for the leap bits. So great to see you all again. Hyperstatic 15, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Ult Beast Tamer, thank you so much for the tier one sub for five months. Five months, hope for five years more. Hell yeah. Uh, Skyblaze, thank you so much for 101 bits. Title suggestion, the disappearing act. Dip and Bipples, thank you so much for 100 bits. Episode title, I'm the baby, gotta love me. <laughs> it's a little long. Just Nico one, thank you so much for the 100 bits. We gotta save Zito's animals when they get back. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for 100 bits. Uh, name idea I saw, three men and a boss baby, which I think is what we're probably going to go with because we like that one. I like that one. And Zanaris, thank you so much for the 45 bits. So, as is customary, do you guys have a streamer who you would like to raid who doesn't have subscription only and who has less than 100 viewers that you would like to raid? Uh, my friend Nake is streaming Elden Ring, and I like Snake okay. a lot. Do you want to... How many viewers do they have? 98. So sure, that works. Yeah, that's under. Mm -hmm. Snake's a really oh, cool guy. Oh, I met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, I met him in uh, Bright Ultimus' game. Yeah. He's got a lovely voice. I want to mm -hmm. see him and Arkulf have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What will our raid message be, uh, Octo? Uh, I'm going to love chaos. <laughs> chaos. How about just yeah. chaos? Just chaos is fine. Chaos. And it's just Snake. That makes life really easy. All right. Raid message is chaos. Mm -hmm. Take care, everybody. See you next week. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 bye.